old shit and blah blah blah. He's like, hey man, maybe it's meant for a reason. I always thought of it like that, bro. Right, yeah. uh, you really fucked up. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't get rid of this thing. Life is easy. Fuck out my face. <laughs> yeah, but it was. I I expect you to do the bare minimum because then what's the point? True. To yeah. do that, I went and got one from the aisle. You dumb fuck. And shut the fuck up and and lay low. Yeah. You're a female, like. You could work your charms in such a, in certain situations that I wouldn't be able to. You know how much free shit you got in she once said word of mama shit. <gasps> got him. We understand it's gonna bother you. Some of us went through it, some of us are gonna go through it. Some Yeah. Well we wasn't ready. I wasn't ready to go that deep with you. You don't really know what you wanna share with my heart. No, look cock. <laughs> look cock. <laughs> <laughs> ten hook, ten cock. I do not agree with these guys. Get the fuck out of here. They do a Sunday party. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. <laughs> yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> we don't want you here, asshole. Get the fuck out of here. Don't you come back. <laughs> <laughs> I stay loose, I stay high, I stay loose, I stay high, I stay loose, I stay high. I could do this all night, cause I do what I like. Yeah, I do what I like. Yeah, I do what I like. Sipping goose, sip is right, and I go with the flow. Yeah, I go with the flow. Yeah, I go with the flow. Cause I know I'm the show. In the zone, here I go. In the zone, here I go. In the zone, here I go. Yeah, they know I'm a pro. 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 you get elbowed in your elbow with an elbow get the arm bar get the farm bar get around with the bomb with the bomb bar <laughs> that is gonna take you to jersey shore yo 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 it's fucking friday night and you know what that means it's the toe in the show show it's your boy toe tags in the building ray uh had to ray's coming late show is up whenever he wants so mike what up bro what's going on everybody yo Crazy ass week, you know, first week back at, at the, the job. It was slow. You know what I'm saying? It was it was what I could ask for, you know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. Usually when you come back from vacation, shit is crazy and you know, they 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 test you with it, but it was all right. You know, today was good Friday, so there wasn't that many people there at work. You know, so it was it was I. Right. It was it was pretty cool and shit. But I don't know if you saw on the, the shorts or on the Instagram or TikTok or some shit. You see this blue box right here. I think one of my fish is pregnant. So I separated it and let's see if it gives birth. They're live bearers, so there'd be little fish coming out of them. So now, me being me, I wanted to see if it was a like how can I tell if it's a female or male or when it's gonna give birth or anything like that. And I go down the rabbit hole this morning for like 45 minutes to an hour. And I'm sitting there going, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know <laughs> All I know is that When they're pregnant They they have similar uh, Features As if they have dropsies Right with the extended stomach and all that other shit And I'm sitting there going okay It's hiding And it's not as active As it used to be so as, You know that's showing signs of pregnancy But the gills are not popped out the skin's not red, all that other shit, so it's not showing any signs of sickness. So I'm sitting here going, all right, cool. I'm looking up pregnant guppies, and I'm sitting there like, damn, this one ain't as big as those, but I don't think it has to be as big as those to...
No, I saw it move, so I just want to be... I don't think it had to be as big as those to be pregnant, because this would be the first time I was pregnant, because, you know, I got it when it was... when it was young. But yeah, man, I, they, and there's also supposed to be, like, a black spot right by where the, the body and the tail start, and if that's... if you see that, and it gets bigger, and that's supposed to be, like, the eyes of the baby or some shit like that, I can't see it through the net, and the way it lays... Fuck me, right? <laughs> so right now that's the mission that we're on that's the journey that we're on to see if we can get this damn fish to give to either give birth or get past whatever the hell is going through you know what i'm saying so we got it <laughs> and that's a, that's a net so basically it's in the same water as the tank it's just there's a net there so it can't bother the other fish and the other fish can't bother it and if it does lay fry which is what baby fish are called i can take her out of it and leave the babies in there so that way she don't eat the babies because sometimes guppies eat some of the babies and all that other stuff so it's crazy I didn't start this shit to be a breeder but if it happened it happens <laughs> but yeah but I'll tell you one thing the minute I put her in there or the minute I put the fish in there the, the other fish started getting active and now the fish is not a bully you know it's it, like it, it bothers the the other like that that one right there, that one right there, it's like gray and orange one. It bothers that one, but it doesn't seem to be stressing it out. They swim together. And then the other big fish, these these, these boys over here, the, I have five of them, three of them hide. So they, you see that they're just going around, swimming around now. So I don't know if it's because of, there's a new thing in there or one of them is, you know, missing and they got to reorder the pecking order or whatever the case may be. That's on them. Let them do their thing. <laughs> but yeah, so that, that's the journey we're on today with the fish. That's the update from the 16 second short that I put out. But let's see if I could catch, if I could catch a breeding, if I could catch her giving birth, then I'll record that shit, put that shit up, the, up on the line and have everybody see that shit. But it's kind of exciting. It's something new I ain't never dealt with, so there you go. But yeah, man. Today with with uh with Ray and Show, we want you know, we always have topics to talk about. We always have topics to talk about. And one of the topics that I want to talk about, and I wanna we could probably get Ray's opinion on it when he comes in, but I wanted to say some shit. This now it's not about the person, right? It's about the message. You know. Um, where this person's giving advice for asking a girl out, right? And she's saying, instead of saying, come if you want, say, uh, please come with me. I really like, I really want you there. It'd be a better time if you're there to validate her feelings and all that other stuff, right? He's also saying to... Do you give her flowers? Wait, let me, I'm listening now. Let's see. Yeah, just pull up with flowers for no reason. So, I am under the strong belief of you don't take advice from women for women. <laughs> because that sounds like sh that's what she wants and not what the majority of women want. You know what I'm saying? Because most of the time from when, when I get advice or when I used to get advice from them, it was always how they felt that what they wanted. Like if, oh, what kind of gift should I get this girl? Oh, why don't you do this? It's like, well, you like that, but she doesn't really like that. So I don't think that's this good thing there. Or, you know, you pull up with flowers. So she wants flowers. Cause she, first thing she said when she, when she mentioned it was that she, it never happened to her, but she sees it on TikTok. So she wants flowers. She wants to feel validated. She wants to feel like she's the reason, you know, like, Oh, it would be a better time if you're there. She wants to feel important. Right, and women do, but I don't know. It uh, <laughs> I don't know. I you you could try that, but I I've always been, you know, you want to go out, you want to get something to eat, sup. Yeah, that's it. Why do I need to add more to it? It's like you actually I understand that's straightforward and people are like, "Yeah, but you know that's rough." It's like, "But yo, listen, let's go out to eat. Let's get let's go get something to eat. I want to get to know you." That's it. It'd be better if you're there. I'll leave. We don't know yet. Especially if it's the first day. We don't know. 
I don't know you. That's the one thing that I don't understand. I mean, most of these people, like, everything is a rush here. It's like, why do you need to, like, yes, you go out with somebody to see who they are so that way you can decide whether you want to court her and then move on further and all that other shit. But the first date is not the marriage proposal. It's more like an application or it's a first interview for, <laughs> for, for the job. You know what I'm saying? You have to... You have to fucking really take your time with shit like that because, yeah, there's people that know and they click and shit happens and they live happily ever after. That's that's always fine, but always those people that just rush because they're not looking for a partner, they're looking for a marriage, that's when the shit doesn't work. I've been watching 90 Day Fiance all week with my with my boy at work. And you know, he got into it and it he's he's got it on, so it's like fuck it. While we working, we we watch it. And I'm seeing that. It's oh that's always the mistake. They're not you don't listen to the person, you just want something from them. And that's 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 a bad way to go. Because if you're sitting there, you're going I want to be married and have a kid, and that means you're going to be married and have a kid with anybody. And if you be married and have a kid with anybody, most likely it's going to be the wrong person because the person that's willing to do all this shit wants to be married and have a kid also, but you're not compatible. So now you have, you're married and have a kid with somebody that you're not compatible with, and the shit gets worse from there. You know what I'm saying? Marriage should be the choice after you got to know somebody and then you go, you know what? I think the rest of my life like this isn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? Not in the beginning where it's like, oh, I don't want to be alone. Well, now you're miserable. <laughs> so the, you got to take the good with the bad. You can't be, you can't be rushing into shit because that's where the mistakes are made. You know what I'm saying? But but the the whole um, just out of nowhere, give her flowers. I mean. I was always raised like my mom didn't like flowers because, you know, it's like, why are you going to give me something that dies? And I, who am I to tell you how to treat your woman or how to treat somebody that you're interested in? There's there's plenty of ways to cook, you know, to skin a cat. There's plenty of ways to do things. If that's the type of person that you are, you like to, to bring flowers and candy and all that other stuff, do it on a genuine note. Gen, being genuine with shit, would always get you further than being fake with shit because you can see you can see past it because when you fake with this shit and you don't get the response that you want because you think that this shit was some some player shit you just did and it didn't work it shows on your fucking face it's gonna mess up your fucking mood do that shit with with generosity because if you're gonna if you're gonna go the extra mile make sure that this that's what you want to do and not because you feel like you need to because someone told you the best advice you can give <laughs> the the best advice you can hear is be yourself. And it's not even like, like on some corny shit. The reason why the best way to you know to meet somebody is to be yourself is because when you start acting like somebody else in the beginning, they're gonna expect that the rest of the the rest of the relationship. And if that's not you, you got about um, two three days until you can not you can no longer hold up that facade. And then like you ain't treat me the same way you did. And I'm not doing that as a woman's voice. I'm doing that as a complainer's voice. Everybody does the same shit because women do the same shit. You know, so. So you got to you got to watch out for that shit. But yeah, oh man, you're talking about 90 Day Fiance. I don't I think we're, we're in a single life. I think we just got to season four. But one of these women just keep crying. Every time I see them on TV, they're happy or they're crying. And it's like an on off switch. I And that's something I can't deal with. I don't know how people deal with it. I don't know. Like to me. To me, pussy ain't never been that important to deal with shit like that. I don't know how people don't see that and, and just turn around and go, yo, this is a child here. You know what I'm saying? Like you throwing a hissy fit. Nah. Nah, the only person I'm gonna accept a hissy fit a hissy fit from is a child. You're in a, if you're an adult, you should not be throwing no hissy fits. And and if you're gonna be keep lying to people and all that other shit, if somebody's lying to you constantly and you always mad and fighting with them, why the fuck you with them? Ask yourself some shit. Why the fuck are you with them? You don't have to force yourself to be with somebody you don't want to just because they're there. Conveniency is not a reason to stay with somebody. Sorry. And that's most of the time we have in 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 this place. 
in this time, I see it's, it's everybody's going for conveniency and easy that don't exist on this planet. Convenient and easy does not exist Mm-mm. unless you pay for it. And even then, <laughs> your money is only going to go so long. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> that, <shit> gets, <laughs> that shit gets boring after a while. I'm not going to lie. You're going to have somebody that you you sugar daddy to, and then you're going to have expectations of them, and they're going to, yeah, in the beginning, yeah, whatever, they give me money, but then out of, an, out of no way, they're going to just be on some, wait a minute, this ain't worth all that shit, because it's the same way as a fucking job. You sit here and go, oh, yeah, I can do this. Yeah, in the beginning, yeah, yeah, I need the money. Wow, blah, 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 all that other shit, yeah, nah, nah, nah. And then out of no way, like, yo, this shit getting boring. This shit, they asking me for too much. I don't feel like I'm getting compensated the way I should be. Let me, um, I need, I need to get out of it. You know what I'm saying? And, and plus, it's a business transaction at that point, so they don't need, you the one feeling some shit, they not feeling no shit, so it's not even real. You know? But yeah, man, I, People, people need to start taking responsibility for the way they act, and people start, people start need to check other people for the way they act. You know, you got this whole man is fear and blah, 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 bullshit. That I'm not a part of that, but I'm saying, if somebody's lying to you all the time and you're gonna let them lie to you, that's on you. If somebody's gonna throw hissy fits and ruin your mood every time you see them, that's on you. You gotta get away from that. You gotta let them know, uh, uh-uh, that ain't happening here. That, that happened once and the shit never happened again. I, I'm that type of person. Be like, uh uh-uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. We was doing good and then you just, I don't know what the fuck happened here. You starting to cry on me for what? Why are you crying? For why are you crying? <laughs> and then boom. I don't know if I want to go out with you no more. I don't know. Nah, I, don't, I don't think we could do this again. If it's a g- legitimate reason, but if you just start complaining because, yo, yo I got to go to work tomorrow. Nah, nah. No, 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 no. Good day, sir. <laughs> I said good day, sir. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I used to have the buttons. I don't have the buttons anymore. I, I didn't even, you know what? To be honest with you, these, these sound effects, I have some of them. But I don't even, I don't even press the shit no more. Because one, I don't know where it's, where it's at. And two, with all of the shit that be happening between these fucking machines and losing shit and the updates and all this other shit and having, I press it, it don't work. It's, it's one of those things where it's like, it's starting to not be worth it anymore. Yeah, it's cool to have and all that other shit, but after a while, when you got to keep up with it so goddamn much and the shit just doesn't work properly all the time, it's like, fuck it, I don't need it. I don't need it. And that's the same way with people. But here you go. You get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. That's um that 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 be me that be me, shit. But yeah, so like I said again, that I don't I don't like to take advice from I don't really like to take advice period from people, but it seems like most most women will tell you what they want. Most men will tell you the bravado of who they think they are. Some people keep like your, your real friends will keep it real with you and they'll, they'll try to work shit through with you and help you get to your decision ultimately. But some, you got to stay away from those people that will tell you how they will want to be treated. And then those people that think they're play and they just going to say shit because in their head, the shit smooth. You know what I'm saying? We all been there. We all said some shit like, yo, my man, you know what you got to do, son? You know what you got to do? You got to go up there with a mink coat and you got to let him know everything's all right. <laughs> it's just like, nah, you can't be doing that shit. But, but do you, man. We are here to encourage everybody to be themselves. And if you the type of person that gives flowers to people because you genuinely want to make them feel special, then do you, boo-boo. But if you're the type of person that just wants to be like, yo, let's go out, let's get to know each other, let's have fun, then do you, boo-boo. You know what I'm saying? And if you're the type of person that that cannot accept someone's, you know, if, if you have stipulations off of base of, based off of someone's, um, shit, what the fuck is the word I'm looking for? It's not gratitude. Like, if someone wants to take you out and you got stipulations on the shit, you over here like, 
Well, I don't go out to the fucking chocolate, fa- the cupcake factory. What is it? The cheesecake factory. I don't do that. Well, then, you know, listen, we don't go out. Have a nice day. Because you know, not for nothing, it's like, yo, the human decency is the shit. Like, who the fuck you think you are? No, no, in, in, in all honesty, like, when shit like that happens, you go, you, somebody takes you out somewhere, no matter where the fuck they take you, even if it be a shithole, if that's what they can afford or that's where they take you, you got to make the best of it because life don't hand shit to you like that. You know what I'm saying? Life ain't out here just handing out flies to people going, you get the best shit, you get the best shit. Nah, you got to deal with it. Sometimes you could go to a hole in the wall, have the best food in the world, and you out here thinking that this is a shithole. So sometimes you could be with somebody and be like, yo, I don't know what to do. And then boom, you have the best night of your fucking life. But you too busy fucking worrying about going to a goddamn restaurant with where the forks of four hundred dollars. Nah. You go on your own. If you can afford to go somewhere like that, go on your own. Don't 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 expect somebody to take you there just because you want to. Especially on the first fucking date. Like that's some shit that you would like if you're if you're in a relationship with someone for already like and y'all over here you like that type of food like you know like we like extravagant food and every once in a while we save up and we go there beautiful have those standards with somebody that you've been there forever you don't know this person don't demand shit for them just that's it you can't expect shit from nobody you can't expect sex on the first date you can only hope for it you can you can try for it and if they if they reciprocate the feeling of it and they you know everything's gravy do you if it doesn't work out that way well then you have to take the l but i <laughs> i don't understand well i gotta tell people nowadays how to be civilized human beings how to be the the spawn of humanity everybody's sitting here watching people play video games they're watching people talk to each other they're watching people fucking get arrested they're watching people do stupid shit but not one person is telling them how to be a human being. They're telling them how to be an asshole. They're telling them how to be a bitch. They're telling them how to be how to how to get money. They're telling them how to lose money. They're telling them how to how to lie. They're telling them all this shit. But ain't nobody telling you how to be a fucking human being. Common sense is not inherited. It's taught. Someone has to teach you common sense because it won't be common if no one knows it, right? But someone has to teach you this shit. When you're going through a door, look behind you, see if somebody's walking behind you, you hold the door open for them. Common courtesy. People don't know that shit no more. And I, you know, and I stopped thinking, I stopped believing they do know it and they just don't give a fuck. No, they don't know it no more because you're too stupid. Because they don't even hesitate. Like, they don't even try to look back. They don't even know that other people are cohabitating the world with them. They're here by themselves. And, and it, <laughs> it, it's, it's ridiculous that I'm the one that had to tell y'all this shit because I wasn't the one that wanted to take the responsibility for this shit. I wasn't, I wasn't as responsible as I am now. I didn't, I was a fool growing up. And to think that I'm over here trying to school y'all motherfuckers on how to be a human beings is, is baffling to me. But yeah, here goes another, another lesson that I've learned on my two weeks off. Screaming and yelling at someone is pointless, right? And I'm not saying that I screamed and yelled at someone, but there were multiple times where I wanted to. There were multiple times I'm dealing with something and I just wanted to fucking and just let it, let it loose on someone. But I realized it's not their fault. The person I'm talking to is not their fault. They're there to help me. I'm not getting help, so how do we now, how do we handle this, right? I can yell at them and do what? Or you can sit there and go, do I have to yell at you for, in order for me to feel like you're going to do right by me? Or can we just get to the point where, like, this is not acceptable and now we try to make this right? You know what I'm saying? Because I was told one thing and it's not happening. Or you know, you can yell at them. And it, it, and I've, I've, I've realized yelling at someone doesn't really, it doesn't change the problem, but it don't make me feel good. It it almost is like, damn, you got me to the point where now I'm an ass. Like now 
I'm being someone I don't want to be. I don't like being this fucking mad guy yelling at people. I don't want to treat you like a child and all this other shit. We're supposed to be adults here. So what's going on here? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's how I, I became. That's how I became lately. And, and I'm, you know, patient. I'm never really patient like that. But it's it. it why am I going to yell at you? You know, because cause I I've been on the other end of the phone call where you're trying to help somebody and they're yelling at you. It's like, yo, I I ain't the fucking one. Click, click, hang up the phone. Go yell at somebody else. I because I don't like that shit neither. So why would I do that to other people? But there's been there's been times where I wanted to. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I was on the phone with people and I get I kept getting cut off from them. And or I kept dialing one number and they forwarded me to another number and I needed the first number because I had to talk to a human and they sent me to a robot. And then when I spoke to a human, they weren't a part of the place that I wanted to talk to. And then I had to talk to the other shit. And then out of nowhere, Google fucking gave me a number and then I got a number and then transferred me back to the other number. And I was sitting there like, all right, who's catching this? Who's catching these hands right now? Because that's the frustration that I had. It's like, Yo, y'all playing virtual ping pong with me. Like, I need to fuck someone up. And then I finally got to the point where I was able to get a human being that worked in the area that I needed to work. And then you get the, well, you got to (laughs) wait. It takes this long to do shit and you got to wait. So you wait. And you listen to the information that they give you. You rehear it in your head and you're like, okay, this doesn't add up, but we'll, we'll try to do it your way. And then you wait and it doesn't happen. Then you call them back up. Oh, I don't know what's going on. That makes both of us. But the problem is you're supposed to know what's going on because you're, you're the one providing the service. So <laughs> let's find out what's going on. Because if I knew what was going on, I wouldn't need to call you. I would have fixed it. So let's <laughs> let's get to the point where you do know what's going on. And then it's like, okay, I, I gave it to other people and, you know, they're going to check it out. So we got to wait. All right. Now we're waiting again. Or, you know, you wait and then you go, all right, they said this day, but if 15 days from that day is not this day and they said it could take up to 15 days, I might as well just wait until the 16th day and then see what happens so right now i'm waiting for the 16th day to see what happens yeah and this sounds confusing as shit because this is what i'm hearing this is what i'm hearing there's no clear-cut answer like we're here to provide a service for you to make life easy for you we don't know what's going on it it's it's almost like some shit's supposed to happen automatically and when it doesn't happen automatically, people go, oh, I don't, I've never used the system before. I don't know. This is, you know, I don't know what's going on. I'll, I'll have to talk to somebody who knows what's going on. The other person goes, oh, well, let's wait until it happens. C- cool. But, you know, in that case, you spend the money for this and I'll wait all goddamn week. I'll wait all fucking year if you spending the money for this. But, you know, I don't remember you spending the money on what I paid for. So... Can we expeditious, you know, expedite this shit? You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit. Make it seem like you at least know what's happening. You know? Because, oh, don't get me wrong. Those emails that you get. How was your service? How was your service? Them shits come speed of light before you hang up the phone. Boop, doop. How would you service? Can you rate us from one to ten? What, what would you? Would you recommend this? Would you recommend that? Did they answer your question? Did they not answer your question? How long do you need to wait? Would you like a cookie? We don't have a cookie. You know, like, all right. It's like, all right, cool, yeah. I'll I'll answer whatever survey you want, man. I'm gonna keep doing it until the point where now the survey is on my side <laughs> because uh, apparently. The only way to get things done is to expose people. And I don't want to do that. I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. I want to be on some, yo, listen, you said it's going to take two days. It's been five. Nothing happened. 
All right. Let me wait another five. It's been two weeks. Nothing happened. All right. Well, well let me see what's happening. Okay, cool. Now, what are we going to do about my convenience here? Because the money's gone from my account. The service has not entered my life. So now what? What can we do? Because back in the day, that's how, that's how people handled issues. The people handle issues like, yo, I'm sorry for the inconvenience this may cause. If it's anything to you, I would like to give you a 10% discount on the shop or, you know, how about I refund you some of the money or how about, you know, I, I, I offer you another service that you can do for some shit like this. How about, you know, we, we, uh, I send my, my daughter over there with, with Monopoly and we all have a family game night or something. You know, you go to a restaurant, shit's not happening the way you do. it happens. The manager comes over and says, you know what, I will, how about I comp the desserts? Something like that, right? Show gratitude. Now it's, no, fuck you, pay me. It's like, as long as I got the money, I don't give a shit what you're doing. You know what I'm saying? In, and the, the whole tip shit, I'm, not, I'm never going to get over that. That tip, I give you a fucking tip, and then you can complain about it. Like, well, listen, bro. I don't know what to fucking tell you. I paid the bill, right? I paid for the food. They're supposed to pay for your for your shit. So, I gave you a tip. Boom, yeah. But that's that's the issue. That that's my inner demon that I'm fighting to not explode on people, and I'm not giving specifics because I'm not ready. For the Kamehameha right now. I'm still getting spirit for the spirit bomb and shit, you know? <laughs> but but that that's mind baffling to me how no one can handle shit. You know, like I would I would seriously be on some yo, what's the issue? It's not all right, give me a second. Yo, he needs this shit now. Let's finish this shit now. Cause this whole back and forth shit is tiresome. But people have lives. I don't want to keep calling you for something I paid because at, at at one point it feels like I'm bothering you. Now I'm pestering you for some shit that I should have got. And I don't want to feel that way because now then it's going to just piss me off even more. And I'm going to be like, all right, so you guys are not dependable. You're not dependable at all. You can't get shit done. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. And you fucking, you're a thief. You stole my money because I don't have the service. So you stole my money. So what happens now? You get the cops involved. What, what, what do we do? What are we, what are we doing here? That, that's that's the that's the life we're living. Cause that's 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 what goes through my mind. Cause the, you know, one plus one is two for me. So now you're a thief. You're a liar and a thief. But don't do abortion here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But that's just me. That's just how I feel about the shit. I don't know. Maybe maybe you guys like having you know. Paying for shit that you don't get stuff for. Or you like the, the hassle because, you know, no one has any kind of self-respect or, you know, pride in what they do. Just because you don't like your job doesn't mean you can't have pride in what you do. You know, I've learned that shit the hard way. I learned that shit from people who work hard, too. It's like if you, you, got, you have pride in what you fucking do, you stand out. You know what I'm saying? You may not like your job, but you can still be the best person at it. And... It, and you sit there and you go, oh, yeah, but if you're the best person, they just give you more work. And then you don't have to take it. Or you're like, yeah, they give you more work. Well, give me more money. Give me more money, I'm leaving. I know that this, it's not as easy as it sounds. But if you're in a position where it's like, I don't have kids. I don't have too many dependents on me where it's like, all right, I, yo, this is what I want. Now I can't give it to you. All right, cool. Let me start looking for another job. Yo, I'm out. What about your two weeks' notice? Sorry, it's not in the budget. And keep it moving. Keep it moving. You don't. I don't believe you're behind this. I don't believe. Like unless you like the people that you work for. Like one of those. Like yo, these people did me right. Blah blah blah. It's just time to go. Give them their two weeks. Train whoever they need to train. Boogie, but. If you hate the fucking job, yo, I'm out. You got to give me two weeks. You got to give me blowjob. 
fuck out of here and just leave. What are they gonna do? Fire you? <laughs> You're gone already. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on with this bullshit. I don't. People need to start standing up for themselves, being independent, and having some fucking courtesy. Because nowadays, as long as you're kissing the right, you're kissing the right person's ass, you don't have to do. You don't know how to do the job. You do not know. You do not need to know how to do the job if you're kissing somebody's ass. You know, sit there and kiss somebody's ass. You don't know. You don't need to know how to do the job. And it's it's bullshit, but that's the way it goes. Because you can always force somebody else to do the fucking job. All right? Hey. That's how it bees. That's how it bees. Listen, man. I, I walked out of plenty of jobs because I didn't like the way the shit was. I don't think I ever gave anybody two weeks. Just, I'm out. Because, you know, you got to have... You got to have the standards for yourself. And at that point, fuck it. I've done that shit before. I was a window washer. Yeah, I would go to commercial um, and residential areas with a squeegee and all that other shit, and I would wash windows. And I had a Jeep. And the dude wanted to put ladders in my car. I had leather interior. I'm like, yo, bro, I can't be having these ladders in my car every day. You're going to fuck up my shit. Like, nah, it's not going to be every day. Three weeks in a row, they're in there every day. I said, yo, what happened to not every day? Then he came out his face to me. I was still young. So I was like, all right, you know, I'll eat this. On the way to the first, the first site, you know, to, to wash me in the middle of the mall. And I said, you know what? Nah, I'm not eating this. I'm not going to sit here and accept somebody talking down to me like that. And at this point, I was 18 years old, 19 years old. I was like, I'm not, no, nope, I'm not doing it. So I call up the same dude that, that, that basically talked to me like I was a piece of shit. And I told him, yo, listen, in the parking lot, all your shit's going to be there. I'm going to pick up my check on Friday. Hung up the phone and I went home. I, his father called me up. Yo, blah, 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 blah. Can you come in? This, that, and the third. I said, all right. I, I called my uncle. I said, I need you to come with me because I'm going to fuck homeboy up. He comes with me. We go there. He, the guy's not there. The father's there. He goes, oh, you don't need your uncle here. I said, no, no, no. You need my uncle here. And my uncle was like, nah, I'm, I'm here to make sure that he don't do nothing to you. <laughs> and he's looking at me. I was like, nah, your son came out. Your, he, he disrespected me to the point where now it's, it's, it, it's got to be physical. Because I'm not nobody's slave. I'm not, I, nobody owns me. And you don't have the right to talk to me the way, however the fuck you want. Even at that age, I knew you do not have the right to talk to me however the fuck you want. My mother didn't even talk to me like that. You're not going to talk to me like that. Especially when I was a, a, a fucking grown up. You know what I'm saying? There's some kind of level of respect here. I don't give a shit who you think you are. Just because you pay me for a job I'm doing does not make you better than me. I, there's no world in that in reality in that does that exist. No world. So you gonna have to eat, you gonna have to <laughs> put your deuce over what? And he gave my check and we boogie. But hey, it was one of those things like I didn't have nothing lined up after that. But it was I'm not gonna sit there and, and take it. If you sitting if you getting if you feel like you're getting abused. I wouldn't do what I did, but that's when you turn around like, yo, this is not a, this is not fair. What's happening? I want more money. We can't give you more money. Then you just stop doing the work. Do your job. Don't do the rest of the shit that they need. Like, yo, your product, your productivity, yeah, your pro your productivity went down. I'm only doing what I'm paid for, and go look for another job, because at that point you can't trust them. This is this is the way I've been thinking. At that point, you can't trust them. And I don't give a shit what anybody says. Yeah, they may not have the money. They may not have this shit. But what they can do is do right by you somehow. They can be like, yo, you know what? You're right. We are giving you too much work. Let's start giving it to the other people. Is it? Because you know what it is. It's It's like electricity. Electricity goes to the easiest source, uh, the easiest conductor. 
You do another work anyway. Just give them the work. Give them the work. The other people are lazy. Give him the work. You stop doing it, they got to start yelling at you because you're the only one doing the work. Well, point out that other people, he can do the fucking work. And we're going to have to figure something out. Or just leave. And be like, yo, listen, guess what? My, my work is about to slow down to zero. Have a good one. This is not your company. You don't own the shit. You ain't getting profit from it. You just getting you getting paid. You go somewhere else and get paid to do some shit. I don't know how the job shit works now. When you got LinkedIn, linked out, <laughs> hip hop cross section bladder. I don't know all these websites to hook you up with jobs, but there's you could do something. There's people stabbing each other in the in the train and making money for it. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you because you know. It's no longer safe to just start singing on the on the train station with your hat out. But I don't know what to tell you. You got to be, you want to be stuck at a job and doing some shit that you ain't even happy about. Like this ain't even your, your uh, dream and you're going to be stuck at it. You're going to be a slave to, to the, to the money, you know? And it's too, it, life happens too fast for you to be a slave to a job. Yeah, everybody wants nice things. Everybody needs money to survive and live and all that shit, but there's other jobs out there. You could do multiple things when the time comes and support yourself. Start your dream. Start something. We we're, we're live in a society right now where everybody's taking the leap and they're trying to they're trying to live their dream. And a lot of people, some people are quitting their job to do it. It's not working out successfully. But you also got to be realistic. <laughs> Sometimes you can't do it the same way other people do it. Sometimes, look, listen, I'm saying it right now. Sometimes you can be better than other people, but you ain't getting the favoritism that these, that these streaming services provide. Because I don't believe in the algorithm. You know what I'm saying? Like, you notice everybody that, that's, that has millions of followers Hundreds of thousands of views are talking about the algorithm, the algorithm, the algorithm. And then what what are people who don't have those followers, what they do is like, oh, the algorithm, like, subscribe and share. <laughs> you know what you're doing when you like, subscribe and share? The, the way I see it, you're interacting, right? You're interacting with YouTube. That's just more engagement from YouTube. I don't know. I haven't liked any of the videos I watched. I don't, I don't like any of the videos I watch. But I watched one video about the difference between a male and a female guppy. And my homepage is all over about guppies. I watched one video of some dude using hand tools from TikTok. All my shit is about, look what I got off of TikTok. I watched one, one dude washing his car with a rinseless wash. These are the best, the best uh, air pumps. These are the best rinseless wash. These are the best chemicals. This is how you properly wash your car. Where do you see an algorithm? I didn't like this shit. YouTube don't know if I liked what I watched or not. I didn't like it. I didn't subscribe. I didn't do nothing but just have it on. Boom. Everybody and their mother now got, got me in there. Oh, yeah? How was how was the Bad Bunny concert or the, you know the way you say it, Bad Bunny? How was the Bad Bunny uh, Anna? But you know what I'm saying like so so where does this algorithm fit? I see I see people that have three videos on YouTube, eight hundred thousand followers, and their videos have ten thousand views. Eight hundred thousand followers and their video has ten thousand views. You're telling me that the algorithm spread her three videos out there? And she got all them subscribers from that. I don't know, man. I'm thinking that because that person is big on the other social media sites, this person needs to be big on this site so that we can bring those people over here. They're handpicking who they they get popping. And if you're popping off now, good for you. You made it one way or another. It's not a spite on you. It's, it's them. They're handpicking who they want to push or not. And I donate some hair. It depends. Because if it's from the hair club for men, it don't last long. 
What kind of hair? Because that you know, only uh, animal skin goes on top of his head. Go to the network. So that bunny, that bald. Oh, he 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 shaved his head bald. Nah, shit. That's dope though. I know his his costume be crazy. Turkish hair. Oh, I don't know, Burke. I'm half Greek. You know how the Greeks and the Turkish, <laughs> Greek and Turkey don't get along too well. Shit. <laughs> you see? You think I don't know my my geography for men? <laughs> but I don't know, man. I used to have nice hair. I used to have luxurious hair. I used to have my hair braided. And then you take some OLD and you lose it. Stay as young as you can. Yeah, man. Stay as young as you can. But yeah. It it I think this is I'm on multiple platforms. I'm on Kick, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Twitch, I'm on Twitter, I'm on Facebook, two different pages. You t you can't tell me the reach ain't out there. We're simulcasting this very show live on all those all those sites. Can't tell me the reach ain't out there. Then you hear, oh, you shouldn't do it. Because of the yada yada yada. But then you got other people that are promoting this software so you could do it. And it's supposed to be better for you. So now what? What's going on here? It's like it's like using scrambled eggs. Do you put milk in the scrambled eggs or do you not put milk in the scrambled eggs? I don't know. It's whatever you like. My favorite Bad Bunny song. That's the back? What? I don't even have a Bad Bunny song. I only know... <laughs> I know who Bad Bunny is because everybody's talking, sh everybody's talking about him like he's God and then he was in the WWE. So that's how I know Bad Bunny like that. I don't, I don't know his songs. My reggaeton was Gasolina and Your Boy and shit like that. <laughs> shit, but yeah. And I'll say it, I don't care. You, you, sh I'm, you gotta be able to express yourself You can't be expressing other people's opinions I'm not afraid of this shit Nah Cause the, Cause the way I see life Cause there are Everybody has different experiences And the way my experience has gone Led me to believe this shit You can believe whatever you want Beautiful for you it, <coughs> You can follow everything that these people say And it works out for you And it doesn't work out for other people and then they say, well, you're not working hard enough. Like, I don't know how to work harder. Teach me how to teach me how to work harder on a four hour stream the same way that these people stream in a four hour stream. It's the same shit. Look at T Bad Bunny, the knucklehead. Oh, okay. That was in 2022. That I know that one, but I don't know. Music ain't the same for me. Music has not been the same for me since like 2014. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Shit. But yeah, I that's why I'm I'm always on the hunt. I'm gonna I'm gonna tell y'all the same shit that I tell it's like I'm always on the hunt to try to figure out a way to stand out. I don't wanna do the same shit that everybody's doing. Because if that's the case, then y'all can keep this shit. Cause I'm not everybody else. I'm never gonna be everybody else. We could talk about the same topics. It ain't going to be the same conversation. That's just the way it goes. I'm not blinded by, by loyalty when it comes to my favorites or people that I don't know. Like my people, yeah, loyal to them. But people I don't know, I know the difference between right and wrong. And you got to be able to say the shit. But there's people out there that just, you oh, know, he's a bad man. Like, nah. Put it Bad Bunny song, the knucklehead. No. I can't I can't play that because of a copyright issue. If I play that song, they, they kick my live off. They, it happened before. They, they'll shut my live down and ban me for, uh, I think it was two weeks. And then one more time after that, I'll be banned for life. So I won't be able to stream. And, and just in case, since you didn't hear the beginning of this, this blue box, I got one of my fish in there because I think 
my fish is pregnant and I'm waiting for it to give birth. <sighs> from what I understand, it can take anywhere from a day to 20, 30 days. I don't know. I don't know if I should keep the fish in there, take it out and put it back in when, it, <laughs> when it's about to give even more birth. I don't know. I don't know. <clears throat> it started showing the signs of about to give birth or pregnancy, and I was like, all right, then what do we do? Put it in there so the other fish don't, don't stress it out. Cool. So now I don't even know what the fuck's going on. But, but yeah, man, that's that's the goal of, of this shit. Just a bunch of people chilling on the block, shooting the shit with each other, having fun. Y'all people come and engage with us, and we, you know, develop our community that way. And also to give people the courage to to be who they are, be themselves, because exactly. you can't be somebody else. You can only be you can only be the the second best version of somebody else, but you know you can be the best version of yourself. You know, so that's why I don't I don't try to 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 copy nobody. I was like my own way, you know, doing shit. Like, you know, people have their way of doing shit and, and it suits them. I have my way of doing shit. It suits me. Sometimes I do it the way other people show me how to do it. But then when you get to learn how to do it, then you, you adopt your own style. But you got to be yourself. Find out who you are. It's it's crazy to to think that when we was growing up, everybody was striving to be an individual. Everybody wanted to be their own person. Everybody wanted to be like Mike, but everybody wanted, to, everybody wanted to play, you know, themselves. Like, you got this one dude, he wanted to dribble. He wanted to be a good dribbler be playing basketball. I wanted to stop that shit, play good defense. But I wasn't sitting there going, all right, I'm going to play like the Kembe Matumbo. I'm going to play my game, and I'm going to do what I need to do to stop him. Everybody want to shoot threes, but you got to figure out how you shoot threes. You can't shoot three like like Curry. You can do what he do to practice it, but it's still gotta be your form, your setup, your your you know, your stroke, all that shit. You can be inspired to be as great as somebody, but you still gotta be yourself. Imitation, they say is the greatest form of flattery, but to me it's just the quickest way to fake. That's that's just the way love goes, <laughs> you know. But but um, yeah, man. So one, I was I'm trying to wait until Ray gets on so we can have this discussion. But I'm I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell I'm gonna tell y'all now that that uh, I've learned. On my vacation, so I took two weeks off from my vacation when I was, uh, well, two weeks ago. So in the t starting the tenth to the twenty second. No, when the fuck did I? Hold on, let me see. All right, so from the eleventh to the twenty second, yeah, I took off for work. My birthday was the tenth. My plan was to go down to Florida, get a car, and drive back. And be back by Tuesday. But we was going to get there on that Sunday, which is the 10th. We couldn't do that because the rain and the and the, the wind and all that shit delayed the flights. So Monday, we fly down, get the car, we drive back straight. We, I think we stopped at North Carolina for some barbecue and then two times for gas. Went straight down there. People, you know, I post up. Pictures and stuff about the car, show people the car, and everybody's like, "Yo, congratulations!" Yada yada yada. It's like, "Yo, blah blah blah." And I'm sitting there, you know. Part of me is on some, "Yo, this is just, you know, it's a nice car. Don't get me wrong; it's a level up from what I had before." But it's at the end, it's still a car. But then I start thinking, like, why would people congratulate people for? That? And I'm, <clears throat> I'm, I'm telling myself, I'm like, I think, unbeknownst to them. They're congratulating you and they're, they're saying you deserve it because 
you're finally seeing that you're able to handle the responsibility of something more. You know what I'm saying? Whereas, yeah, the car you had before was a responsibility, but, you know, it, you managed it. It fit your budget. It did this. It was basically just an anatomy. You know, it was just something, you know, that you had, and it was like, it didn't, it didn't affect nothing. But, you know, that car was one of those, if there's a scratch on it, if, you know, you could take that shit to an oil chain shit for cheap. You know, it was one of those like, yo, this, you don't really need to worry too much about it. Easy peasy. Now the car you got shit costs money. This is some shit that you want to take care of. This is some shit that you want to, you know, keep the maintenance and all that other stuff on. You don't want to fuck around with this shit. You Everything needs to work. They, you're paying for the experience that the dealer and everybody else has for you. The name of the car and blah, blah, blah. And then he was like, oh, shit, well, you know. Well, now the monthly payment went up higher. Insurance went up a little higher. And now the maintenance is going to go up higher. But you're taking on the responsibility of handling all that. You're taking on the responsibility and the maturity of taking better care of this thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, like people congratulate you or they, they um, when you have a kid, you have to mature very fast to take care of the kid, right? It's the responsibility of taking care of the kid is that grows and people see that in you now. They see that responsibility that you're taking to take care of the kid and, and all that other shit. So, so now with that being said, cause most people, when they have shit like this, they change. I'm, you know, not like person. Sometimes they think they're better than they are, but they change the way that they handle shit. Like you have a car. It's like, yo, this is a point A to point B type shit. I need oil change. Uh, I'll do it whenever. Or I'll go to the guy that does it and who cares if he doesn't change the filter or some shit or whatever. Now you got this. Like, oh, I got to go to the dealer, but this shit's going to cost me some money, so I got to figure out a way how I'm going to do this. Boom. All right, we get each part handled. Now it's that little dent that was on the other car that you didn't care about. Now we care about it on this one. How much does it take this shit out? All right, let's take let's take this out because I don't need I don't want this on my car. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's it's the 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 level of responsibility that you have. You kind of grow up a little bit with it. You get to see a different side of of the world. Like you get that you get that opening of the door that shit like this isn't for just certain people. You know what I'm saying? And by certain people, I mean like you're used to the general shit is nice. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, scissors is nice. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, you know, red lobster is, is the shit. Like, you're used to that. You're used to. I don't want to call the car companies mediocre, but you're used to average. You're used to normal. You're used to. This is what everybody has. These are the features everybody have. Boom. And you step it up a notch and you have them like, oh, wait a minute. I pulled, I pulled up in here with this and nobody's looking at me wrong. You know what I'm saying? Like that, I've dealt with that where I was in a situation, you know, where I had shit and I pulled up someplace and people look at me like, what are you, like, what are you doing with this? And now that you, you're, you're in there and you have it and people look like, oh, congratulations. You know what I'm saying? It's a different world, but it's still like, you, you feel it. You feel the, the difference in there. And I said, it doesn't make you a better person, but it just lets you, it opens up your eyes to the fact that, yeah, sometimes, or not, not sometimes, but all the time, like you, you're not meant to live in shit. You're not meant to be average. Like this isn't a, a place where everybody wants to put like the middle class, the upper class, the lower class, and all that other shit. Those are just um, labels that people put on it. It's okay to be somewhere where you feel like you may not belong. You know what I'm saying? Like some people feel like they don't belong in the upper class because they were raised in the lower class and the middle class and all that other shit. And it's like, this is my home right here. This is where I'm going to stay. Everything I do, I got to hustle. 
you know, I got to, you know, I'm going to do this and that. And I'm going to buy me a $5,000 car and put twenty, forty thousand dollars $40,000 into it. And some people go, well, you know what? I may not be living in the Hamptons, but let me get the $40,000 car. You know what I'm saying? Now, granted, sometimes, depending on where you live, it <laughs> you're going to see that shit fucked up because, you know, not everybody cares about your car the way you care about your car. I'm just, I'm just letting you know. But, I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can't, aff- you can't be afraid to, 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 to accept more than what you think that you are. You know what I'm saying? Because you, you're worth more than you think you are. Right? It makes sense? And the older you get, the more you, hopefully the more you see that I'm starting to see that more and more. Cause it's, it's, it's hard to wrap your around uh, to wrap your head around the fact that you're getting older. And that also means that now you're not a child anymore. Cause you know, we, at least I grew up where the grownups are talking. So you can't interrupt that. You know, you show respect to your elders. You know, there's, you gotta be, you know, smart with your with your money and all that other shit. Like, you know, why would you wanna spend four hundred dollars on a pair of shoes? You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It's like it's hard to break those habits of still being the child. But then when you start realizing, like, oh no, I'm a I'm a grown man. Like I, yeah, you're an adult. But to 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 mature into that grown man and start being the man that, you know, that you see your father as or as um the the other men that you grew up around being the example being the example and all that other shit it's 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 nice all right you know i'm going to i'm going to fuck this button up i'm just letting you know Building. Ray's in the building. What's going on? What's going on? My apologies for being late. <laughs> Side show said that he was gonna come on in ten minutes. That was at eight o'clock. <laughs> 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 yeah. So I I, I was uh, talking about the responsibility thing because I couldn't stall anymore, Ray. But. So I got to the point where it's like you get, you know, now like, you know, when we grew up, it was adults are talking. You don't interrupt them. Oh yeah, you that was a Yeah. Bro, I, I to this to this day, <laughs> I am twenty five years old. <laughs> I'll still get the look of like como que, don't no falta respeto. Don't don't be disrespectful. Like when the actual like Adults, adults are having a conversation. You don't do that. Yeah. Like as kids, I used to get the fucking look and you know, I get the kick under the table, especially if we're at the dinner table. Yeah. You you don't even think about doing that. Yeah. So, Nowadays, see? these kids are fucking like they're they, the adults. They're, they're the adults, and it's like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I I would uh, I, man. Yeah, and I'm I'm telling you, like that's I just made that. That that uh example, and you know like when you when you're first getting your first job, people are telling you how to save your money, how to do this. Why do you want to spend five hundred dollars on a pair of shoes? You know shit like that. And you know I'm using the example as the car, and I'm sitting here going, you know, people congratulate you, and they're like, yo, you deserve it, right? And what I came to realize is the level of responsibility that this card is making me have versus the other car I had is uncomparable because the this car one is expensive yep. two it's 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 not just the car that i'm now associated with it's the brand so when i go to when i go to the dealer or when i go to the service department when i when i used to work at toyota you drive your car in someone goes up to you gives you a sticker gets in your car and goes parks it then you go into a room you tell the person what you want, and you sit in a little box with a, with two TVs, yep. and that's it. And then somebody will come in and try to get you to spend more money. Yeah, usual. <laughs> when I pulled into the the service department, this dude comes up to me. He goes, 
do you have an appointment, sir? I said, yeah, I have an appointment at 8.15. He goes, oh, Mr. Vincent, how you doing? I'm like, I'm, I'm doing all right. He goes, uh, if, you, if, um, if you don't mind, you come out the vehicle. This young lady over here is going to help you. I said, okay, cool. I get out the vehicle. The guy pushes, puts it up in line. Somebody starts walking around it. The lady's like, oh, so what are we here for today? And I tell her what, what's happening. The guy goes, yo, listen, you're not required to do anything today. I just want to let you know your tire threads in the back are a little lower than the ones at the front. You know, so if you wanted to get that, we could get a price for you, blah, blah, blah. You know, I see you have dents. Are you interested in taking those out? Like, yes, I am. I can get you prices for that, too. And then you start getting, yo, I, you know, I just got the car. Oh, congratulations. You know, what can we do with the seats? I got a guy. And you sit there and the girl's like, all right, here you go. Everything's ready to go. You can sit in the waiting room, enjoy some coffee, some some snacks, whatever, you know, and I'll let you know when when shit happens. I'm sitting down. I'm on my phone. This is when I'm texting y'all. I had, a you know, a hot chocolate in my in the cup. You yeah. know, they had Nutri-Grain bars and all other shit. I'm sitting there chilling. People walking by me like, yo, that's a dope sweater. It was an NWO sweater I had on. Nice, nice, yo, Dope sweat. I love the I love the wrestling back in the day. Blah blah blah. These are the workers just walking by. She comes up to me. He's like, "Oh, um, the part that you that you needed was a hundred ninety dollars, but we put it in for free. They they already put your license plate on there and all that. They're doing the inspection now. Here goes the prices for the tires. If you want to do them, you don't have to do them now. So I'll come back do them. All right, cool. I'm sitting here going, I don't have to hunt nobody down. These people autom- automatically are telling me what I can expect. Yep. There, it's like being in a hospital. Oh, yeah. It's, 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 it's like, uh, I just came in for an oil change. I've been here for three hours. No, oh, you're next. What is this, a, bar- what is this, a, bar- a barbershop? <laughs> what you mean? Like, you don't even know who the fuck I am. You no. know what I'm saying? It's, it's So the level of responsibility that the car makes you want to have, you know, because it's like, all right, this, this I need this shit to be perfect. Or, you know, I don't. Like, oh, no, nah, I'm not going to take this shit to the guy that may not even change the filter. You know what I'm saying? And and now, also, at this age, I pull up somewhere with this. And I'm not getting looks like, the fuck you doing with that? Because I, I guess now I'm looking more mature. But when I was younger, when you had certain things, people were like, the fuck is this nigga doing with that? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and I was saying, like, now... Because we was raised like that, it almost makes you feel like you don't deserve this or like you're not supposed to get this. You know what I'm saying? Like this is a, a stretch because, you know, this is not for you. This is for other people. This is for people that are above your tax bracket and shit like that because of where we come from. Yep. But now, like having it and seeing it and seeing how certain people, I don't want to say treat you different, but seeing how now that you entered the world of this, how it is different. It don't like, it makes you feel like you're the man that your father was or that your uncle was, or the, the man that the grown men that you seen growing up where they had all that stuff and they d- commanded respect just by walking. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, I, I was going to say like, to, to me, it sounds like, again, it's, it's a responsibility now that it's, it's something because you earned this responsibility now, which it sounds weird to say. It's one of those where it's like, You've worked to now gain another responsibility. <laughs> yeah. like, but it, go, it comes with that, though. It comes yeah. with, that's the one thing that people look at this and it's like, oh, you just you bought an expensive toy in a sense. And it's like, no, this is a lot more than just a luxury. Yeah. This is something where now it has that responsibility of the maintenance of it all. It has a responsibility of keeping it away where this is not just, oh, it's what I use to get around. Yeah. Like, no, this is my car. This is my my personal vehicle here and i'm going to maintain it the way i want it to be and that comes with a certain responsibility now and a certain amount of care that you're gonna have to put into it yeah so it's, it's one of those where people don't understand that and they're just like oh why would you do that why would you do this it's just a car it's like no and that's where that little bit of thing it differentiates when yeah. you start to look at those things as those responsibilities you know yeah it's kind of like when you're renting an apartment and you buy your house it's like there's a lot of responsibility for having a house. You know what I'm saying? And then you you it's you know, if something happens in the house, you can't call a landlord. Yeah. You call a contractor. My pipes burst. I need you to fix this ten thousand dollars. 
No, my landlord used to do this for free. <laughs> what happened? Well, you don't have one no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you know, and I'm not saying, well, I am kind of saying it's like it's it's the same thing. Like li you're living in an apartment, living in a house, it's the same thing, but one is just more freedom, but also it's a different category of responsibility. It's a different like you you saved up so much money. You put the down payment on the house. You went through all that shit. You're keeping the upkeep. Like you said, you just, you earned the right to be here. And that's what it is. It's earning that right now to be able to have this kind of responsibility. And speaking of that, bro, they were talking about it today. They say now in order to even think about owning a, a property or owning a house, you have to make at minimum $76,000 a year. Think about that. Yo. You want to you hear something funny, Ray? Yeah. The house I grew up in, unfortunately, we're not there anymore. Yeah. It, it, it foreclosed on us. The house I grew up in, in 1984 or 1983, yeah. when my mother and father first bought the house, you know how much that house cost? How much? $75,000. It was a two-family house. Now that house, from what I saw the, the in the bill, was, was like 300, well, not now, but seven, eight years ago when we lost it, was about $350,000. It's probably cost more now because... Oh, yeah, right now, that, yeah. that's probably going to cost you anywhere from seven fifty to almost close to a mil. Yeah. For a two-family house? Yeah. Because uh, I honestly think they have little kids... Give me a number between one hundred thousand and a million. Nine hundred thousand. That's how much this car cost. Like they just throw out a fucking number because I don't know where this shit comes from. Well, I would never grasp the concept of a hoodie being eighty dollars. Yeah, I, I that I don't get. Like with houses, I'll say with houses and cars, it might be a little more understandable price range, just because I would assume it's based off now. The wage, wages and all that, that's how they, they start to come. Okay, so if it's this, we're going to make it this or something like that. But even then, yeah. I doubt it's, we're get, I'm, I'm giving it more credit than it than it has. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm trying to give it a little more decency well, than probably the actual um, effort. We, put in. You know you know what it was, though? Because the culture is different, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah. So back in the day, and back in the the fucking seventies, eighties, fifties, forties, the nuclear family existed. Where you grew up, you went to school, you got yourself a job, you found yourself a lady, you got married, you had a family, you buy a house. Buying a house was affordable to someone who had a good job. Yep. Where in thirty years you can pay that house off. Inflation. Well, billflation, because the only thing that inflated was the bills. <laughs> that that's the thing I never understood. If inflation is a thing, right? Why isn't that also inflating the rate, the the wages? Why don't we get pay raises if things are going up in one direction? Shouldn't the other one go up as well? Like, no. Because you know why? Why? Because we are a, a renewable source. Think about this shit, right? Are we renewable or are we expendable? Renewable, because once you once you get used up, somebody else comes in and change the place. It, it, you know what I'm saying? It's like water. You evaporated into into gas. We'll get somebody to come and <laughs> be the water. No, again. no, that's what I'm saying. It's so like we're we're, we're yeah. expendable, yeah. But because it's like but, it's like we're we're quick to just like you know what? Yeah. Fuck that person. And that's what, that's why I've always told I've told you guys because I've seen it. I've seen. Someone be expendable. No, oh, yeah, because I saw it. With God rest his soul, I saw it with my pops. Yeah, a week after, because we went to go take out stuff from his locker, all that. A week, <laughs> someone's already in his position, and I'm like, yeah. He he was there. I'm 25. My dad died when I was 18. Just turned 18. And no, no, when I was 17, sorry, when I was 17, he was working there since I, the day, legit, no joke, 
since the day I was born. Because I was born, <laughs> that was the, the legit the same day he was supposed to start working at that job. So I was born, he went home to get changed, and had to go to work. Would barely take time off. Did that for 17 years straight. A week. Yep. So that shows anyone. If anyone listens to this, and again, takes what we say seriously at times. Um, learn that you are expendable with this shit. And they don't get yeah. shit. Nick. And uh, thank you, Nikki. That is usually yeah. what I've been told a lot of times. That my eyes are, uh, are pretty. So uh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. But no, well, I, that is that is something. Unfortunately, that it comes with that. Yeah. That's why I say like you have to, but enjoy what you work for in a sense. Yeah. So you notice how they have work unions and they negotiate every year the contract of the pay rate. The pay rate doesn't go up much. But now we're gonna talk about the car now, right? Yeah. yeah. Now all the parts to manufacture a car go up in price of course i can't sit here and go well you know what i'll just get the metal from somebody else or the plastic from somebody else no everybody raise the price you can't get it from somebody else for cheaper not this level not the level that makes you your car what it is yep. shit all right so we got to pay more for it now because this guy said it because the way it costs him more to, to do it so we got to pay more for it so that means we got to sell this car for more all right so what about your employees Fuck them. They don't. Th they don't hold a gun to our head the same way the parts. The people who sell us these parts do. We control them. If they say they wanted more money, there's people outside right now walking the streets to take your money because they don't have it. The union goes well. If you don't give us more money, we're all walking out. And they go, damn. Well, I mean, all right, we'll give you the thirteen cents more that you want. That. You guys felt like that you deserved, then we convinced you that that's what you was gonna deserve, even though we wanted to give you ten cents to get the thirteen cents. You, you know? know, such such a um, such a, a nice, generous offer. Yeah, thirteen cents. Yeah, and Yo. and and that's that's what it is. It and the price of the prices of houses went up almost triple, oh, quadruple. Yeah. But Bro, the prices of people's of uh, people's pay rates didn't go up at all. Nope. Or well, at least Someone, percentage, it hasn't it legit hasn't even budged where it needs to be yeah. reasonably. And yeah. again, when they put out that number today, I was like, in what world would seventy five fucking thousand dollars be enough then? Because that makes no sense. Like for yeah. how wages now, there's no way. I could see that seventy five thousand to possibly live. In a in a condominium, maybe to be able to afford that seventy five thousand dollars down, like to be able to afford that fucking rate, maybe. But to live in a house in this yeah. fucking economy, fuck yeah. like there, there's no way. There's legit and, no way. And the crazy shit is, yo, a couple years ago, I was like, yo, let me, I let me see, you know, what I could do. No. And I think um, the bank quoted me two hundred fifty eight thousand dollars. And I said, Costco boxes aren't that expensive. Okay. <laughs> That's the only thing I can live in is a, is a cardboard box because the burnt down house in the Bronx, like a literal burnt down house that you need to knock down and rebuild $350,000. Nope. And that's in the bad part of the Bronx. That's not like in a livable. That's in... That's, that shit burnt down because probably somebody got bored. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was, people don't understand. You had, like, you literally have to go up to where show live to get a, 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 a livable house. And even that sometimes is stretching it. It is. It is because, man, it, it's at a point where legit, you, you made it as a joke, but that's legit possibly what we can fucking afford is yeah. boxes. <laughs> yeah. Like, and, and you, did you see the little um the the shit that Elon Musk is doing with the the little homes that are supposed to be like ten thousand dollars or some shit? It's literally yeah, I saw like that. A, yeah, 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 I saw that. And my shit is like, oh, that's cool, but where you gonna put it? Yeah. You gotta pay property taxes, and now property taxes is gonna go up. Oh, of course, of course, that's gonna be that's gonna be even more now because of all that. Yeah. And now they're gonna wanna. It's it's, bro. Shit, I just did the um. Because it's, it's that time of the year. I just did the lease 
for this place. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> because I, I, I make it a little bit more now. Um, yeah, <laughs> basically half that whatever increase now goes to this because <laughs> that's how this shit goes. It's like, oh, you, oh, you make making more, more money? money? We want more money. <laughs> It's like we are making more money. <laughs> you might not make more money. We are making more money. It's like you don't get to see the new money, basically. Yeah. It's like it, it, the paper says you make new money. Yeah. Oh, Inflation. You don't get new money. Inflation. So yeah, nah, man. But um, yeah. Again, it's it's overall though. Try to enjoy what you are able to make, and don't let it stress you. Enjoy yeah. those responsibilities when you're able to earn them. And stop trying to fucking critique others for deciding to do those things. If they're able to earn those responsibilities and do it the right way, then stop fucking judging and stop trying to then compare and be like, oh, why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Yeah. Because that's not what they wanted to do. That's not the responsibility they selected. So <laughs> in the in the kind words of every motherfucker that lives in New York, mind your nuts. A word. <laughs> Next. A word. Yo, I spoke about this in the beginning of the show, but I wanted you to hear this. Okay, cool. Because um, uh, I'll give. I want to hear your opinion on it, and I'll Bye. give you my opinion. But Bye. this is uh, Ooh, sorry. Men, listen to me. If you're gonna ask a girl to go somewhere with you, don't say come if you want. Be like, please come with me. Like, I really want you there. It'll be a better time if you're there. You have to validate her feelings. You gotta. The nest. Even if you don't mean it, just say that. Yeah. Hold on. There's what a little like dating and like girl tips you have being a girl. Oh my god. T okay. This has never happened to me, but I see it sometimes on TikTok when a guy pulls up with flowers. Okay. What do you think about that? Could you play it one more time? Gotcha. Men, listen to me. If you're gonna ask a girl to go somewhere with you, don't say come if you want. Be like, please come with me. Like, I really want you there. It'll be a better time if you're there. You have to validate her feelings. You got to <laughs> finesse. Even if you don't mean it, just say that. That's the first part. I'll let you talk about the first part. Okay. No, no, no. I got the, I got the second part. I just wanted to read yeah. the first part. Because I didn't hear her say you should be doing that. Because um, the fact that she said, even if you don't mean it, that's kind of already putting down what you think guys are trying to do by inviting a woman out. Like, um, damn. <laughs> also, have you ever texted the come if you want? No. Because I'm usually inviting. Like, if we're if I want to do something with someone, hey, um, I'm thinking about I, doing this. Um, I would love for you to come if you're if you're available. That scenario. I I don't think I've ever done the come the, if you I, want. Yeah, the I want you there is implied in the, yo, let's go get something to eat. Yeah, like, I don't think I've ever been like, oh, come if you want. Like, yeah, I could do that to one of my boys. Like, yo, we about to go do this. Um, Come through if you want. Like, I'll do that to my boys. But I'm not going to do that to a girl I'm trying to talk to. Or especially if I'm already talking to said girl like that. I'm not going to be like, oh, come if you want. Like... No, the, whatever I'm inviting her to is something so we could spend quality time together or time to get to know each other, that type of thing. The conversation should never be a, oh, come if you want. Yeah. What kind of shit is that? And the problem is, I can imagine, because if she said it, she probably has received a text like that. <laughs> so um, my apologies to that girl. Um, but don't recommend for guys to fake it either. Because if the yeah. guy is like that, no, let them text the way they're going to text. Because that now shows that they are still not understanding how you should possibly communicate toward the opposite sex or your significant other. Learn yeah. to properly communicate things. Because again, you should be taking feelings into account. You should be taking actual conversations into account. Don't bullshit it. Because this is what affects and this is what creates that stereotype of, oh, Guys only want this, or guys are not able to do this. No, 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 no. That is not what that is. That is certain individuals. Just remember. Don't know. Anyone? Who no, man. Oh. <laughs> I was like, what are we remembering? 
<laughs> no, I'm, I'm opening up TikTok because I know we have a bunch yeah, of videos. Yeah, 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 we have a lot of videos. And why the yeah. fuck do I keep... I have to check my settings because this kept fucking spiking earlier again. I don't uh, like it. Um, do you have the cook guard on? I do not. I might have to do that. Um, But, um, yeah, when it comes to that, to the second part of the video, though, um... <sighs> So, you want to hear it again? No, no, I'm trying to think. Uh, so, are we not supposed to have flowers at times? Like, what is no, the issue she, with flowers? She, no, no, she said that it never happened to her, but she's seen on TikTok people just pulling up with flowers. This, but that's what she's suggesting to just randomly show up with flowers and shit like that. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'm trying to think why, why is that so like. Again, out of the ordinary, <laughs> you know. Well, all right. So I'm I'm gonna break it down for you, Ray. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. I know women better than women know women. Oh shit! Here we go. So Nikki, cover your ears. Yeah. Nikki, so ears. in the beginning of this, she said, "Guys, listen to me. When you're gonna ask a woman out, don't say come if you want. Tell her it would be better if you were there with me. Finesse it, even yeah. if you don't mean it. Now." One of my rules, you do not ask women for advice on other women. Now, your sister, your mother, your cousins, they have no stake in the game. When we speak about women, we're not talking about family. We're talking about friends, women. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the reason they would... why, yeah, the reason why you don't ask it's because they're not giving you what you should do for that woman or general women. They're giving you advice on what they want. So she wants to feel important when you ask her out. She wants to feel like it won't be the time that I will be where I'm at would pale in comparison to if you were with me. As if... You're more interested than where I'm going. Gotcha. Like if I'm going to the car show, the car the car show would suck if you weren't there because you make the day better. It's you know what I'm saying? Like you light up my life. Right? That's what she wants to hear. When you're asking a woman out, especially the first time, you don't want to put that much pressure on her. You don't want to make it seem like my whole world revolves around you. Hey, you want to get some dinner? You want to go out to eat? I know a place, blah, blah, blah. You want, you want to go? You want to go do the thing? That's it. Simple. Yep. She's asking for herself. There's some people that might not like that. Like, oh, it'd be some, well, I don't know you like that. What do you mean? You know, because they people can can detect bullshit like that easy. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And the whole flower thing, show with flowers randomly. That's another thing that she wants because she opened up the sentence with, "It never happened to me, but I see it on TikTok." So she wants to experience that, and that's how women give advice. This is what I want. This is how I would want someone to show me that you know they care about me on my birthday. Or this is, you know, something, you know, that I would want for Christmas or some shit like that, right? Yeah. Now, this is where the advice be yourself comes in because genuineness, when you're genuine, that pours through. Fake pours through, but genuine pours through even even cleaner because let's say you are a guy, the type of guy that buys flowers for people. But sometimes you, you don't know, like... <sighs> You're nervous. You don't want to be, you don't want to put yourself out there like that and they get rejected because handing someone flowers and they don't like it or anything, that's rejection. Anytime you do something for someone and it's not reciprocated in a way that's like, oh my God, and it's, you genuinely understand, you know, like you genuinely like the fact that I did this, it's rejection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, but if you're, if you're the guy that just goes, yo, listen, I saw these flowers, I thought they were nice, I wanted to give them to you because I like you. Do that. Genuineness comes out. It's better than yo. I went and got flowers because this chick told me to get you flowers. 
the fuck is she? Yeah, don't do that. Hope again. Hopefully, if you're doing something like that, like you're deciding to, hey, um, you really like this chick, you want to do like that, you take her flowers. Just a, li- a, ni- a little nice act of kindness. Yeah. Again, maybe it's not the flowers. Hey, maybe you think, you know what? This is a cute little teddy bear or something. Take up a teddy bear. Yeah. It's a little act. Shit. It, it's as cliche as it sounds. Take her the box of chocolates. Just something. But, yeah, but, something to, again, show that you're, th- you're thinking. Yeah. Just if, to show that. But if that's you, do that. Yeah, yeah. Don't do if it. that's not you. Yeah. You know? Because, uh, yo, know, listen, today, I I walked outside and I said, it's a nice day outside. You know what else went through my head? What? It's been a while since I made one of my friends smile. Because, you know, I know she goes through a lot of shit. So I hit her up like, yo, I walked outside for lunch. I saw this such a beautiful day. It reminded me of you, and I just want to let you know you're awesome. Oh. I don't do that often, but it's just one of those things. It's like I was there seeing the pressure that she had on herself. So sometimes I get the the you know the feeling like, you know what? Here you go. Just out of nowhere, break you from whatever funk you might be in. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's, but, that's see, and that's that's caring. That's actually being genuine because you saw, you know what? Hey, this is coming out of you. This isn't just, oh, you know what? I think this is a good idea because I saw it on TikTok. Yeah. Or, oh, I should do this because this girl said I should do stuff yeah. like that. Like, no. Or even that guy said I should do that. No. If this is you, this is the person you are, do it. Again. No one, no one is gonna be like, "Ooh, why'd you do that?" Like, or unfortunately, let me let me not say that. There might be the person. <laughs> Realistically, there might be that one person that's like, "Why'd you get me flowers?" What, what is wrong? Like, there might yeah. be the person because there are ungrateful people in this world, unfortunately. No, yeah. And this goes both ways. That's why I said person because it could be. Yeah. A guy can be as ungrateful of, of acts of, of kindness as a girl can as well. It goes both ways. This isn't just a um, one sex thing. Um, but doing stuff like that, again, genuinely doing it because you care or because you want to, it's it's 90% of the time going to be a accepted in a just, oh, you really did care. You know? Yeah. And that's what you want. You want to show, especially if you're trying to develop relationships develop bonds like that it is a good thing to do because it's creating something there that's like you're you're actually thinking about the person this isn't yeah. just a one-sided relationship because that is also a thing this is something that nowadays more than ever um it does come into the play and it's the thought process of re how do i put it re-instilling that thought of do you actually care or is this it, that one-sided relationship? Because sometimes they need that. That is, for some people as well, words of affirmation and words of just being able to confirm that this is more than just a let's have fun type of thing is needed. Because some yeah. people need that in order to understand where this is going or where this could possibly be going in the future, you know? Mm-hmm. So uh, always keep that in the back of your mind just to, again, have that there. And again, we're, we're not saying you should be doing this. But if you are the person that does this, more power to you. Yeah, be yourself. Have the courage to be yourself. It's I'm telling you now. She this is now. This is not an attack on her. This is a, this is based off of what she said. But I know this is a young person. I, I I'm looking at her right now because it's a YouTube short. She's yeah. on her own little podcast. So she, I'm I can tell this is a young woman. And I'm pretty sure being as young as she is, she hasn't experienced the stuff that she wants to. True love, romance, all that stuff. Oh, no, you can tell. You can tell by the way she's saying this. It's like, fuck, you haven't received this, unfortunately. Yeah. And this is now why you're reflecting the way you are, which is understandable. Unfortunately, it sucks if it's it's not something that's like, oh, you're being given this type of care. Because in her head, this is the way she she painted the romance in her head. Yep. 
So this is how she wants to feel when someone sweeps her off her feet. And this is why I said you can't really take advice from him because now you got someone who painted this picture of romance in her head and wants to be swept off her feet. And she's going to give you advice on how to sweep her off her feet. Meanwhile, that advice is not for her, for you to take. Because if, if you were interested in her and you heard this and you did that to her, she's still going to reject it. Unfortunately, because no matter how much someone teaches you how to break their walls down, they're reinforced for you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But like I said, there's this. We all went through it. Yep. <laughs> we all went through the we're all the imagination of how romance and all this shit is supposed to be, and then we figured out how the world works, and then it's like, okay, we still have those. Like I always told Shell this. And I said this shit to y'all in the, the live broadcast we was all together. I just wanted 1%, 2% of somebody to give a shit. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Nothing crazy. I wasn't asked for a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But You know what's sad? As much as it's not asking for a lot, it somehow still is. Yeah. Nowadays. Nowadays. I'm not saying it's, it is because it's, it is a lot. It's yeah. because of how people react, how people treat things that it's like, even just genuine, just wanting that. It's still a lot somehow. That makes yeah. no fucking sense. No fucking sense. But again, because what do we know? What do we know, Tone? We don't know shit. Because everybody is so self-centered. Which is, it's crazy. Because I said this while I was stalling. But Gary Vee says this shit all the time. It's like, you know... Um, gratitude, human decency, you know, doing shit for others. Like even um, Lay just put him in the the fitness chat. Uh, Robbins, um, Tony Rob Tony Robbins. Yeah, I believe that's his name. Where you know he says it all the time: do for others, and it will it will you know make you more fulfilled and all the other shit. People are so self absorbed nowadays because they're all trying to be these stars and they only care about themselves. Like. Human decency says when you can do for others, it makes you happy. Like, you know, being genuine with others, like sitting there going, how was your day? Horrible. Let's go change that. That's not so you can be on TikTok going, look, I made her day better. That's to genuinely have somebody that you care about their day better. And you're going to feel better because now you were able to get somebody to forget about their, their issues and you can have fun. Yeah. And that should be the thing. It should be doing it out of pure, genuine care instead of, I'm going to do this so now I could post. Hey, look what I did. Yeah. No, 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 no. You just, you missed the point. You yeah. missed the whole point of this scenario if the only reason you're doing it is because. I want to get likes and I want to get comments and I want to get, oh, this and that and this. It's like, no. Like, if you're doing it for that, you're doing it for the wrong reasons. And that goes with anything. That's not just with relationships. I'm not just with stuff like that. It's just if you're doing stuff just for that, you're missing the point. Yeah. Because there's a bunch of things that at times we would do. No one needs to know. Yeah. Like, no one needs to know. It's stuff just to do it out of pure care and pure genuineness. And um, like this week, I, I gave him the credit for it because fuck it. I thought, yo, why am I not going to say who did this shit? Because I know he didn't. I, 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 I Tomorrow I'm going to see him. I know he's going to be like, yo, you shouldn't have said anything. Just post it. Boom. Yeah. Um, my boy that did the new graphics and all that shit for me. Yeah. He, which are fire. Yo, he, he did that again. I, I woke up <laughs> next morning and yo, here's a, here's a folder. I did something for you. I'm thinking, and again, I, I think I said, I told you all this story. I just thought it was going to be stuff to promote the, yeah. the, the event we're doing tomorrow. Nope. When it's a new logo, new background, new stream layout, new thing to make the graphics, um, the image that I'm actually, I just looked at the specs on Amazon. I'm getting a banner made with that, that nice. uh, graphic. Nice. That I could have instead of this fucking, instead of this. <laughs> The we're hand, gonna have we're gonna have a nice fucking layout. The, the hand painted picture that Picasso drew himself. You're getting rid of that. 
Not still gonna be there, but I'm just gonna make sure. Grateful. I, I have something nice in the background, so instead of yeah. that, you get to see the logo and shit. But um, yeah. So that was something where again, it just came out of genuine care. Like that's one of my boys, yeah. and I I put it out because I was like, nah, man, you deserve the credit for this shit. Yeah. So people see because I got likes and shit quick, and I was like, nah, give him the fucking credit because this guy out of nowhere just thought, you know, look cool. Let's make it ROH based <laughs> and let's yeah. make it look fucking legit and dope. And every time I make a graphic now, like, oh, this guy's coming on the podcast. I'm like, yo, this looks fucking sick, man. That's why I was like, fuck it. Now I got to make a new intro, which I'll spoil it on here. But Monday, hopefully, because I just spoke with the guy now, will be coming with a new official Respect the Craft theme song. I'm getting a. <laughs> A, a theme made so I would no longer have to get worried about this getting copyrighted or yeah. possibly getting demonetized in the future. I'm finally getting a song made for the channel. So, um, yeah, and it should be coming tomorrow morning. So, nice. um, yeah, we're going to get some. Again, we're leveling it up this year, guys. This is not just yeah. what I'm talking about myself, but just for the Knucklehead brand in general, all of us are going to be doing some big things because um, it's the year's young. Why not fucking try to make some big things happen this year and try to do some shit like never before? So Word. stay tuned. Big things happening here. But let's uh let's continue here. You said you had some more videos. Well, I know we have some more videos because yeah, I, 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 I said a bunch today because I kept seeing shit that was like, yo, this would probably be a good topic to talk about. Let's let's talk about Yeah. That. Um I don't know what the fuck just happened. You can, I you scrolled up that. on TikTok and it went all the way to the top of the page, but I'm back. Oh, shit. <laughs> so the March 26th, when was that? That was that's three days ago. Tuesday, because it's uh, the Tyson Fury. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Oh, I know we did the Bob Marley one. Yeah, we did that uh, last Saturday. Yeah. So then there's the Sylvester Stallone one. Uh yeah, that one that one I don't think I think we've done similar video of that, but yeah. play it again if you want. We can retouch on on uh, go back well, we, once you started this damn journey. You yeah, can we, go forward. We get, yeah, we spoke about this. One, you get scared. You get we up. spoke about it before the, the video one, you saw the video. Like, fuck it! I yeah, fuck it! Fuck fear! And you barrel through it. Yeah. We spoke you know about funny? that before. And, th and that's the thing. It's one of those where I was like, yo, this is this is what we've talked about, though. Like, it's one yeah. of those where it's like, it's true, though. It really it legit is. And even now, like we're saying, even this conversation we just had a few minutes ago, wanting that responsibility. Yeah. That comes with fear. Yeah. That comes with like, shit, oh. am I going to be able to withstand this? Am I going to be, fuck, even making the choice to buy the fucking car yeah. or to do this or to do that? Like, there's a lot of things we're going to do in this life that it's like, um, and I just saw one now and I forgot to send it to you because I was jumping onto the um onto the podcast. Um thinking about when you're leveling up, when you're at that point now that it's like, yo, I'm I wanna get this because I need to do this. You feel like every move you do, you're gonna fail. Yeah. And it's like you have to get that out of your head. Cause you might it might happen, you might fail. The problem is you can also get back up and do it again. Yeah. Because no one's stopping you from restarting this. This isn't a, oh, you, you fail once? Well, that's it. No, you get back up again. You wipe yourself off and fucking, yeah. all right, now we learn. Now we know what not to do. And that's what we do here. Like, a lot of the shit we've done, a lot of the shit we continue to do, and this isn't just for the podcast. It's just in general of anything we're doing. That there's gonna be those times where it's like, yo, you're at that top. You're like, yo, nothing can stop this. Yeah. Something fucking stopped it. <laughs> and you have to learn. You have to learn from it and fucking know now how to move, how to do certain things. And this is stuff we talk about. This is stuff sometimes we don't talk about on here because sometimes there is shit that it's like we have to realize. And it's like, yo, I finally get what you were saying. Yeah. Like, there's gonna be those topics. Definitely. But, um, so after that, what was the what was the next one? 
Because again, um, I know we yeah. we send a we send a plethora of yeah. videos. Yeah, we got the Tyson Fury staying in the moment ship. Okay. I live in the moment because that's the only thing we have in our lives are moments, moments in time. And as soon as I've gone out that door, we can never reverse back and, and play it again because it's real life. It's not a dress rehearsal. So I don't really care what happens five minutes ago. I'm just going to keep going today and living today and enjoying myself because I know what God gives, God can take away in the flash of a second. It can all be turned upside down. And I've experienced it. But I believe it was a massive test because... Sometimes in life when everything's going great for you and you don't know good from bad, mm. you need to experience a little rain sometimes so you can enjoy the sunshine again. Yeah. Hearing that video, realist, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you the minute I sent it, because I sent it to you this week. Yeah. A tear came down my eye listening to that because it was the same day that unfortunately the incident happened in Baltimore. Yeah. And I'm in a car and we're about to pass a bridge. And the only thing that came to my head is I'm with my mom right now. I'm with one of my aunts. God forbid something were to happen right now. In that blink. And I'm listening to the video. And yeah. that's happening. And I'm that's the only thing that's passing through my head. Is just thinking about that the moments and just living in the moment and thinking about again all of that. And I get what he meant, but at the same token, I'm like, I value the past moments in order to truly enjoy this one. Yeah. Cause that's how that's how I live my life now. That it's like you have to enjoy the road that got you now to this moment. Yeah. Don't let this this is this is where I agree with Tyson Fury though. Don't let those moments now affect every move, but have value for it. Cause that's I think the thing that a lot of people use that it's like, oh, but what about this? What about screw that? Enjoy now. Let now be present. Yeah. Instead of, oh, but this. No, no, no. That was that. It's our favorite quote from the Lion King. It's in the past. Does it matter? It was in the so past. It's it's one yeah. of those where you have to allow this to now yeah. be the thing. Because now I'm pretty sure you're you're familiar with the song Joy and Pain mm -hmm. like Sunshine. And so those are opposites. The now the sad part is to appreciate joy more, you have to go through pain. To appreciate the sunshine, you have to go through the rain. And that's that's what he was saying. The thing is, the pain and the rain is temporary. The joy and the sunshine is what you need to hold on to. Just like when when you lose someone, you go through that pain, and then when you start realizing all the joy you had, you start remembering all that good stuff. That's what holds on to it. The problem is, you see how you were able to say that now. That is temporary, yeah, but yeah, during it, that's yeah, that's and no, that's why but you when had to those, go through that. No, yeah, and that's yeah. why when those good moments happen, you start to see. You know what? Those bad times don't last. Yeah, and it's, it's one of those where during it though, it's like yo, it, it feels like it's an eternity, yeah. and that's why you need. Sometimes, unfortunately, you are going to need to go through those. You're going to need to go through those rough patches, and sometimes I feel like, unfortunately. We need those rough patches because if not, we don't truly see and value the good moments. And this is why we always say we need more good moments because we need to be able to see how important those are. This is why we've said it here. Shit, doing doing the uh, spontaneous us just going out for lunch the other day. Yeah. That was a great fucking moment. Yeah. Just to be able to enjoy that, have valuable time of just being able to bullshit for yeah. a bit. Because... Like, because the, the shit is, like your brain and like energy, it does not cost anything for bad shit to happen. Nope. You can sit down and bad shit would happen to you just for the fuck of it. You sit down, you let your mind wander and bad thoughts would have... Being sad and mad and all that other shit does not cost you anything. You can just do it. Turn it on. It's an effort. There's an effort to be happy. 
There's an effort to have joy. There's an effort to have good times. That's why, why do you have, you have to go through all that pain to enjoy the, the fucking, the, the, the moments, right? Yep. The, like you, Disney costs a lot of money. You got to put in overtime after overtime, save up your check. You know, like I can't afford this. I can't afford that. You got a budget. You got to go through hell. You're at Disney. You're enjoying it because you went through that hell to yep. get there. And now you're going to enjoy it. The same thing. The reason why we're saying we have to make more moments and we have to chill because we know it's not going to happen unless we make it happen. Yep. We're not going to just spontaneously show up somewhere and have a good time. We have to make that happen. Yep. But, but spontaneously, someone could be like, yo, something just happened and, it, and it's fucking with my day. Like, you know, something bad happened. You know what I'm saying? That can happen spontaneously. Yeah. Like, you're not just going to walk out your house and be like, oh, shit, what you guys doing here? Oh, really? I'll just walk down the street and just happen to go to another borough. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, no. that doesn't happen. You have to, sometimes you have to put in the effort and go through the fire to get to the sunshine. No, you do. And sometimes it is one of those where it's like it, it needs to it needs to be done. It needs to be. You need those moments. You need those things. You need those bad times as much as you need the good times. Everything is what, in a sense, it's what evolves you into who you are. Yeah. And again, as you see those, as you start to understand those, um, again, we're not saying it's going to be easy. We're not yeah. saying it's going to be something where it's like, cool, you get through that and you then see, oh, yeah, the light's going to be at the end of the tunnel. Trust me. <laughs> there are times where I don't think it's coming. I don't think the light's coming. And then sometimes um, it finally happens and it's like, you know what? I get it now. Like, Damn. shit, this week, this week again, I send that video. When did I send it? Tuesday. Yeah, Tuesday. I send that video and I'm like, fuck man. Like that that uh, that moment happens. Wednesday, something that I was like, you know what? I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Wednesday yeah. was a fucking great, a great moment of just understanding shit that I'm like, you know what? Now I get why. And it's is that like the, the Spanish saying, uh Dios aprieta pero no orca. So you get a little bit of squeeze of life. You get a little that pressure's there. Yeah. But it's not something that's gonna kill you. Yeah. You know? And yo, know, and you know, something like that is too dramatic to make light of, but certain situations like when I thought my car got stolen. I can look back at it now and laugh. You know what I'm saying? Because there's always a way to make shit, you know, funny. But they're like you go through something, you have to Give it the opportunity for, at the end of the day, for it to still bring you some kind of joy. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. you you know, like, yo, you was working fucking triples, doubles, all this other shit just to get on this vacation. And you turn around like, yeah, I, I did all that so I could be here. And it's almost like an accomplishment now. It was pain then, but it's an accomplishment now. So even seeing... Or even being present in the tunnel is important. Oh no, it definitely, you, you know, it definitely is. It definitely coming, is. It it's definitely just a a difficult road. Though, yeah, you know, like being a part of that tunnel. It's like this just feels like it's never ending. <laughs> like going yeah. through one in NYC. That tunnel fucking always feels like yo, we, we done. <laughs> yeah, like <laughs> nice. Like shit. Word. But um. Yeah, again, it, it's one of those where moment enjoy the moments, folks. Enjoy the moments, enjoy those, but don't forget to also live in the moment. Yeah. Like, live in that moment, enjoy it for what it is. And when it's those rough times, as much as it's hard to say it, enjoy those too. Because it it's... Persevere. Persevere through it. Trust us. It's, it's not the easiest... But it'll prepare you for what's next. Yeah. And it'll make you value when those good moments happen next. So. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> All right. So this is the one that you like with Gary V. Okay. Gotcha. You know, this is <laughs> what you... The only people listening to your problems 
are other losers. Right now, if you think you're complaining or it, you, it comes natural to you, just think for 40 seconds who the person that you talk to the most about it. Do you understand the things we complain about? Like my Uber is just missed me and is going around the block again. Or, oh, you son of a bitch, I ordered almond milk, not soy milk at Starbucks. We just lack What's going on? Like, we What's going on, Isaac? Ludicrous things. And so, gratitude. The only... What up, okay. Mr. Loki? Yeah, so this no. is what you were talking about last week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Third world, pro- like, you know, first world problems. No, it's, you it's, don't it's, seem to understand, Ray. <laughs> That Uber is going to cost him another 15 seconds of his ride. <laughs> wow, 15. And you know what's crazy? As much as I'll bullshit and be like, yo, come on, man. This is some fucking first world problems. I'll also find myself doing that sometimes. And I was like, come on, man. Why the fuck is this? Why is this saying it's longer now? Yeah. Meanwhile, I, it, it could be worse. Like, I'm complaining about some shit that I chose. <laughs> I chose to take this. I chose to be, let me take an Uber. Like, you know? Yeah. But, um, yo, what's going on, Isaac? What's going on, Mr. Low Key? Um, but yeah, it, it's stuff like that that it's just like, I don't want to say we've complained I'm now. <laughs> I, I don't want to say we start to complain now because we got to find something to complain about. But it's like when we've now gotten to the point of complaining about those things that it's almost comical because it's like, man, we're really complaining about that. <laughs> like little things like that at times. But it's also like we have to pick apart certain things. Like we're going to complain about things that we that are making us discontent, you know? So it, 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 it's it's... But the way Gary V put it, though, it's 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 a nice perspective on it, you know. So, shout out to Gary V. But uh, let's see, we're gonna we're gonna go to the comments here for a second. Uh, Isaac was saying Big Mac or Whopper. I actually like Whoppers more. I've never been big on Big Macs. I don't know. To me, the, the uh, Burger King's burgers actually taste like grilled grilled meat to me. So. There's there's your uh there's my take on that. Um for Nikki gay son or thought daughter. Um whatever makes him happy. Yeah, I was going to say like I, I I I don't know. I guess it's an either or situation, but it's one of those where hey, whatever whatever the the child that's their prerogative. Again, if they whatever whatever um, if it's their sexual orientation, if there's their sexual preference, um, hey, as long as they're happy, as long as they know they're loved, yeah. And if it's a thought daughter, you can always blame the mother. No, no, that is not what we're gonna do. Jesus, hey, give me one sec. Come on. Yeah, Ray's like, fuck this mic, son. <laughs> but yo, not for nothing though, it's okay to complain about certain things. Because we do live in a world where we pay for convenience. And if that convenience is not met, it's still like, yo, what the fuck? Let's okay, see. we oh, should be good now. There you go. Um, I I checked it now, the wire was a little loose. So hopefully we should be we should be good now. Even though I'm gonna have to disconnect this shit tomorrow anyway, because I have to take it with me to uh Loud East Wrestling. But it's all good. Um see how you just plugs it in there every show. I got to. I got to pl- <laughs> I got to plug the shows I'm involved in, man. It's the way this works. Um, but no, it's a you have to complain. You have to complain at times because now it's the adaptability of the circumstances we are in. Mm-hmm. Like you said, we are now paying for certain things that we expect now. And um, when those things are not met, it's like, why do we pay for this? If we're not getting, yo, I did that the other day. And then my mom uh, was pissed at me <laughs> because I ordered um, breakfast from Dunkin' Donuts. And I was like, you know what? I don't feel like cooking this morning. I'm just going to order some stuff. 
hey, boom, we got breakfast. And it said it was supposed to get here from anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes. I was like, cool, that works till I take a shower, do all the stuff I got to do. Boom, here comes breakfast. <clears throat> I do all the shit I got to do. 30 minutes later, nothing. 45 minutes later, nothing. An hour later, oh, your driver is pulling up. Meet him at the door. I'm like, okay. <laughs> it gets here. I'm like, yo, this shit is fucking cold as shit. I'm like, yo, if it's telling me it's coming from 15 to 30 minutes. And even the estimated time was less than that. I think the estimated time was like right between 15 and 20. Yeah. And I'm like, an hour later, what the what, what the hell happened? If the place, funny enough, is not even that far from me. But I was like, yo, I want to order this that way. By the time I do everything I got to do, it's here. Yeah. And I'm like, the hell? And so I decided, fuck it. Uber gives you the option. Hey, you have a, a problem with your order? Yeah. Fucking, it took too long. They gave me my refund. <laughs> yeah. And my mom's like, why would you do that? Like, it, it, it's, it's, I'm like, why not? <laughs> We're paying for this. It's not like, oh, there it, is. They allow the driver to communicate with you and be like, yo, listen, this is taking longer than usual. I'm sorry for the inconvenience. Oh, he didn't say he didn't say a thing. He was just like, here you go. I'm like, okay, cool. I, I was talking about this earlier. Dumb. Where back in the day they used to do that. You had pride on your work. Now, my situation, I had to buy the navigation. It was a digital add-on. I bought that last Thursday. Yep. And they were like allowed 48 hours for it to load up. It never loaded up. I called them back on Monday. Oh, yada yada yada. We gotta put it up on the we got to give it to the tech guys. It can allow up to five days. Somebody will call you and let you know what the issue is. Got you. And immediately, I realized yelling is not going to solve anything. Nope. But I'm frustrated. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, the only thing I can do is give you the time you asked for to see if this gets fixed. Now, if it doesn't get fixed in the time you asked for, now, I'm now, I, have to, now I have to figure out a way to let you know my displeasure without taking my aggressions out on someone who is not their fault. So now I got to, if I, if it doesn't work and I have to call back and be, now I have to be like, okay, listen, it's been almost two weeks. What can we do here? Because this is not acceptable. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I, I paid money for this and I'm not even getting a solution what can we do here? And I'm not accepting a refund because I want this. I want I want this service that I pay for. I want it. So now let's figure out how we can do this and how you can make it right for me. You know what I'm saying? Because back in the day, they would have been like, yo, listen, I understand your frustration. I'm sorry that it didn't happen. How about I give you 10% off? Or, you know, how about... Um, we give you a coupon for something in the service department, or you know, I'm some, you know, what I'm saying like a restaurant. Sorry that your food came late. How about I comp you for the desserts? They don't do that no more. They're like, well, I got your money. Fuck you. No, and no, they don't. They yeah. It, it's the thing of like they forget of you want to be hospitable. Like, is that the word? Yeah, hospitable. Yeah. There you go. So it's it's adding that to it. Like this is a service here. It's like no, fuck you now. It's like we got yeah. your money. Don't fucking back. And it's like, yeah. when did that become a thing? That it's just like yo, like, huh? Like there's still places. Don't get me wrong. That will do it. Like, yeah. um, I remember that used to be a thing with Uber too. That used to be the issue of like, oh well, sorry. <laughs> like especially on rides. Like if you didn't like the drive. Like if if it's taking too long or shit, your driver's fucking reckless as hell. It's like, oh, we'll take a note of that. Yeah. Now they're more to the <laughs> point of like, no, here's credit for this, or we apologize, we'll try to not match you with that driver again, that type of shit. And it's like, we'd even serve with different services that you start to see shit like that, that it's like, you're not going to even try to help? Yeah. Like, what's the point of being a service if again, if Especially if you're not promising what you, if you're not doing what you promised, 
to not even try to mend the situation in a better degree. Just like, well, that sucks. You shouldn't have picked that driver. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like it's your fault. No, and that's that's a lot of times they try to do that. It's like, damn. Like they just said what they basically in a sense. Well, well, that happened to me once. Where um Optimum for two days the service cut out. Yeah. And I call him up and I'm like, yo, why is my bill so high? As a this, this, and this, I said, oh wait, my you guys cut off my service for two days because it was a blackout. Yep. And then you're charging me extra for some other shit. How does that work? <laughs> and all like, and it was a half hour of me going, how does that work? And him saying, well, fuck it, that's what happened. And I was, yo, dead ass. I was on some. Okay. Transfer me to the people that cancels this ser- this service. Because now it's like, all right, I don't want you no more. Yeah. Oh, no, and that's when they're willing to make it work. Now it's like, no, 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 no. Um, we'll lower your package. We'll do this. Um, You know what? We have a deal now. Um, um, It's like, especially when it's a cancel anything. That's when they come out the wazoo with mm-hmm. everything. Like I did that. Um, what was it that I canceled recently? Stars I canceled because I had it as an extension to my Amazon Prime. Because all I wanted to watch was Power, oh. and then the rest of the books. And I was like, I did that. I'm not gonna really watch BMF. So till they bring back fucking um, Ghost. I'm good. <laughs> so I'm like, I don't need to I don't need to have stars right now. The minute I tried to cancel, oh man, we'll give you uh I think it was like three dollars. It was like three dollars a month. And I was like, mm, I still don't want it. There's nothing else I'm gonna watch on this. Yeah. So it's like I still get the email. Oh, we miss you at Star. <laughs> Would you like to to re-sign up today? We'll give it to you for like I think it's three months for three ninety nine. And I was like, mm, maybe. When when Ghost comes back, I'll I'll do it. <laughs> no, yeah, legit. It's like when that happens, which um they already started filming some stuff that it's like they basically yeah. confirmed they're gonna do a, a Tommy and Ghost spinoff, like this basically telling their origin story, and then uh they're bringing Ghost back for one of the the power books. So yeah. yeah. So it, it it's 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 funny though how services like that. It's like you have to basically threaten the worst. So which yeah. for them, it's so I'm taking away all the monies. When you threaten the, the money, that's it. That's when it's yeah. like, no, 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 please, please, please. That's where they everything can be alleviated somehow. Yeah. And you you know what I like to do? But is um now since social media really doesn't really help. Yeah. What I like, like the staple shit. I like to go, oh, you guys won't help me. So at staples on Twitter, since you guys don't like to do your fucking job, I'm no longer going to buy shit from you and no one should. Yeah. And just blast them over. And then you see how quickly they, they hit you up in the DMS. Like, yo, what's going on? Sorry that you felt this way. And uh, yeah, can I help you? And I told him, I was like, nah, this is what happened. No one told me why my order was returned. Well, let me look it up for you. Oh, the chair came broken and we had to return it. No, no one told me this shit. Y'all give me bullshit. I could have fucking bought the shit at the fucking store, but you guys try to convince me to get this shit shipped to me. Now it's on back order. Like, how does no one know? Get, the left hand doesn't know what the right hand is doing. I don't work with y'all. I don't do this. Sorry. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I would, I was gonna do it to the steakhouse, but I couldn't find them motherfuckers on social media. <laughs> Could not find them motherfuckers on social media. Damn, yeah, because yeah, that would have been the perfect way to at least get something. Because like, yo, yeah, fucking that much money for a horrible steak too. Yeah, like yo, like and yo, when we tell you, Kenny, Kenny's and also another witness. When we tell you how good those steaks were at Longhorn, yeah. 
that <laughs> Yo, dude. we we asked for something else. I can't remember what it was. And I don't know, it was a refill of a Coke. But because of how Toe was enjoying the steak, we could have sworn he just asked for a refill of steak. Yeah. <laughs> Even the waitress thought I said that. Yeah, because she looked at him like, <laughs> oh yeah, Coke. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, because we legit like, all thought it's like, yo, you want another one? I, yo, I I like to think she was captivated in my eyes, but you know. Oh no no, no yeah, yeah that's what <laughs> that's what it was. But we're gonna say yeah it yeah, yeah because of your your choice of wanting another state. Yeah right? yeah, but yo, you could yeah y'all could ask Ray and Ray could uh, could attest to this. The first bite of that steak, I said, no, nah, this one's better than the fucking hundred twenty oh, yeah, yeah. dollars steak that I bought. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> first yeah. bite, I was like, oh, this is better. Yeah, instantly he said that, and I was like, "Damn, all right, cool." And it pr- it was proven because he ate that whole it, old fucking steak, man. Yeah, which we all did too because I enjoyed my steak. That shit yeah, was hell yeah. Like, shout out to Longhorn Steakhouse because they know how to fucking make a steak. Word, we gotta go back. Facts. Facts. Word. Shit, but um, <sighs> there was some. You sent me two new videos that I didn't see yet, but uh, yeah, I sent those legit like before I got on stream. Yeah, because I kept I kept watching TikTok because I was like, because I told you what happened, and I'm just like looking at TikTok like, well, let's scan through TikTok till I yeah. can get on, and I'm like, oh, this is a good video. Let me send this to Toe. Like even if we don't, even if we don't do it now, it's like at least it's there for. Whenever we get the chance to, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Sometimes your biggest blessings don't come until the people that need to be out of the picture are gone. And I had to realize that, that there are things in my life that God is waiting to give me, and they won't come until I make the right decisions to cut my grass. Say it again. Sometimes your biggest blessings don't come. You know, it feels like that sometimes. Yep. Yeah. You know, and it... Yo, it it happened to me. It's like, you know, shit had like uh COVID happened, there was a flood in my building and then everybody was changing positions and it just so happened that they your number's called, bro. We need you. <laughs> what do we what does it take to to, to keep you? Everybody's leaving. This that all right. We'll, we'll we'll try to do the best we can. You know what I'm saying? Now and then people start seeing that you you rise to the occasion. When they start putting more responsibility in your hands and they go, oh, I never knew he'd do that. No. And it, all it took was everybody getting out of the way and <laughs> them giving you some kind of trust. Well, even in even yeah. in, in the degree of just sometimes the wrong people yeah. need to leave. Like, because you we all have that, unfortunately. We've had those people that it's like, yeah, they're there, they're your support. And the minute you start to do a little bit of things that are now making you. I, I'm trying to say this the most cordial way that you're in a better position because I never want to say you're better than the person. Yeah, You're in a better position possibly than they are. Now it's like, oh, no, no, they don't want to clap for you anymore because now they wanted you to succeed, but not better than them. Or more than they are. And we've yeah. all we've all had that, unfortunately. And it's one of those where you finally lose those people that it's like now you can succeed because now your the fake claps are being tuned out. Yeah. Now you're focused on the actual task here. And you're able to do the things. When you have the actual people that care and the actual people that are supporting and the actual people that want to see you succeed. Yeah, but that's when yeah, and also sometimes your journey is in other people's journey. So like you got somebody that there's no aspirations, there's no real things. They just want to chill. They they like yo. I got my little money here and there. I can chill. This is this is life for me. This is where I'm happy. Yep. That's not where you're happy. And you just stay there because you're too afraid to be like yo, bro. I appreciate this is how you want shit, but I got dreams too. I gotta go, you know, pursue my dreams. And when you actually step outside of that, and you go pursue. Your, you go pursue your dreams that's when you're able to get those opportunities because now you're in a different location now the road opened up for you yep you know what i'm saying and i like to i, I like to say this is like you know how 
um, people go, you got to drop your friends. You know, like you you lose your friends or whatever the case. Like you got somebody that just smokes, somebody that just chills on the block, somebody just does that. You don't have to drop them. They can still be your friend. You just got to learn how to go your own way. Because if you want to, let's say you wake up one day like, yo, I just want to chill on the block. You got your boy that chills on the block all the time. Let me go chill with him. Yeah. I want to go play basketball. Here goes some dude that all he does is play basketball. Yo, let's go play basketball. It's a thing of you have to learn that not everyone is going to be for every part of your life. Yeah. You could still have people. Again, this is the thing that you have to learn. There are going to be some people that, yes, every step of the way want to see you succeed and are going to be there and going to be that support. Those are, those are great people to have. But that's not going to be everyone in your life. And that doesn't mean they are any less or any more. Because you're going to have those. Like, we, we've, ha- we've played the video here countless of times. Of the Marlon Wayne's quote. Yeah. Of not being that friend that just wants to be there to clap when you're succeeding. Not there just for the parties. Because sometimes you need those people that, yeah, when it's time for a good time and for a drink, you got those people. When it's time for a serious conversation and even a genuine cry, have those people. When it's time to, we got to get to work, those people. And sometimes you might find a person that is a part of all of those. Yeah. But those are far and few between that you're going to have that fit multiple columns in your life. And again, that doesn't, that doesn't defer the others. It doesn't lessen the others. There might, might and again, to, to be clear, there might be people that, again, are just there in maybe thinner parts of your life. And that's cool, too. Like we've said, we've had that conversation on here. Some people are here for their leaves in your life. Mm -hmm. They're going to fly away at times. It's okay. But those people that are actually branches of your life and are there in the roots of it all, then that's great. They're getting to see that. They're getting to be a part of that growth. They're getting to continue that life with you. And don't be be afraid when sometimes those branches, though, are going to also break off. Unfortunately, that also comes with this. But keeping that foundation strong of it all, that's where you need to, that's where your words need to be. Mm-hmm. So. And also, what isn't said in that video is that you have to be willing to be somebody's roots also. Not everyone in your life is there for you. Sometimes people are in your life for you to be there for them. And it's okay if it's not, if the vice versa isn't there. Yeah. Because that's the thing. I think that is something that people don't understand. And this is something where I had to learn. Because I I like to be that person for others. I like to be there for people. Have the genuine ear. You've seen it. You see how I am with people and how I'm quick to, yo, someone's going through something, I got you. Yeah. Someone needs something, I got you. To a fault at times, which now I'm learning. Sometimes yeah. I gotta, gotta <laughs> learn when to say no. But um there was a time where and this might have been selfish of me, or this is again, this is me learning because of certain shit. That oh, but I'm doing this, but they're not replicating that. And at the time I'm not understanding that that is okay though. Cause sometimes you have to be that person for others. That doesn't mean, unfortunately, that they're able to do the same for you. Because they might be, again, going through their own battles that they can't afford to be that person for you right now. Yeah. They they don't know how to be that person for you. Yeah. Yeah. And and that's okay. Like, yo, that's something where now I've understood that. That's like, yo, sometimes I'm, I'm legit that person. When I know someone's going through something, that's when they hit me up. And I'm like, hey, what's, what's going on? You good? How's this? How's that? Um, you want to call right now? You want to FaceTime? What 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 do you need? What's up? Like, cause I know, I know when certain things are said, I already know where this is going. Yeah, and it's one of those where it's in no no strings attached. Like, I want to make sure you're good. Yeah, and it it's stuff like that that it's like again, people need that genuine listen. Where it's like, oh, this isn't just a you're gonna also let me know what I need to hear. 
This is just being there. Because sometimes that's all people need too, is just to be able to be listened to. It's because yeah. sometimes there are unfortunately nothing you can really say that's gonna help, but it's just finally being able to tell someone unconditionally and not have to hear, oh, but this. Yeah. Or you should do this. You know what happened to me? Yeah. Like, and that's an oh man. That's something I also had to learn. Because I would think, oh, we want to have a conversation right now, you know? And I would then bring up, oh, man, you know, something like that. It's like, people don't want to hear that. People don't, don't need vent. to need to go through, oh, let's play fucking, we'll yeah. And it's yeah. like, no, sometimes all you got to is just hear eh? and be present. No, and that's the thing. Hear and be present. Because people get that very mistaken. <laughs> and they're yeah. like, oh yeah, I'm here. I'm listening. Are you? Are are you listening and tuning the fuck out? Yeah. And this is why if you guys ever notice on the show <laughs> when me and Toe or me and Kenny and Toe or whatever members of, of the group are here, we're continuing to say, Hey, I'm listening. Because yep. sometimes we are doing multiple things at a time. But if you ever notice, we're not we're not fucking misstepping the conversation. Yeah. So we are listening. The problem yeah, you, is you, ne you never see me go. Wait, what'd you just say? No. It's like I hear you. I hear. Don't don't think that this got more importance than you do. Yeah. I hear you. No, no, we <laughs> yeah. we do that a lot on here because again, at yeah. times, legit, it's like people will be like, "Yo, are they even listening to each other?" Because they're looking at every direction, but here. Yeah. And it's like, no, we're listening, but we also got a bunch of fucking shit we're doing. Yeah. And it's like, the thing is, people forget you also have to listen. Because there's a bunch of people that's like, yeah, 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 I'm listening. And they're letting the person vent. And they could probably say anything they want right now. Like, yo, you owe me a million dollars. Yeah, 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 I got you, I got you. And, yo, and not Ooh. for nothing, listening helps you relate and solve, not solve problems, but help you alleviate issues in the future so like me and crows we have conversations all the time when we start talking about something that we spoke about before i'm able to go like the last time that happened yada 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 he's like you're right you know what i'm saying and when you when you're able to go yo i remember back in the day you said you wanted to do this and now you have the opportunity but, you know, this, this is not in the third. You having a meaningful conversation. Now that conversation can go somewhere. Now you're able to to fully get shit off your chest and to and to evolve the conversation into something. If you're just going to be there but not be present and not listen, then now when you're talking, it's on repeat. Yeah. And it, it, it's so noticeable and it feels that way. Yeah. Because it becomes a, yeah, we just said that. Yeah. So you weren't listening. Nope. <laughs> and it's like, oh, whoops. Um like like all, all the times we speak about the tragedy of our loss. And I'm like, you know, you said your father does this. And you like you said your mother does that. We can expand on that now. We're not saying yeah, the same now shit we're not over saying, and over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. It is yeah. isn't that the worst when someone only knows how to say the same shit multiple yep. times and they just continue to yep. say the same shit. <laughs> and it's like they'll change a little bit of the story, but then say the same <laughs> exact yeah. motherfucking story. Yeah. Like we haven't heard it on multiple occasions. <laughs> I hear you. Oh, uh, it's gonna pop you're, you're so just, many people after. <laughs> you're mouthing the words the same way they are. And then I went to the store and then I went to the thing and then I got picked it up and this motherfucker said this. <laughs> like I know I know <laughs> we got it we heard it the first yeah. 20 times Good word we get it <laughs> yo speaking of the whole friend thing yeah right? and th this shit you you're, you said something and it, it, it sparked a memory in my head because okay. this is something I wanted to bring up got you those people that are like they need to feel like you know that 
they could do something for you. Ooh. Right, so, okay. like, so to, um, this week it happened to me. The car. Okay. I'm like, yo, I'm ordering these, these parts and I'm trying to make it perfect. Oh, I know somebody that does that. Let me know what you need and I'll, you know, see if I can get the hookup for you. This is around the time when I was like, yo, then give me the refund if this is the issue. Yo, yada, 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 you said this, what's up? No response. So, me, I, I've been through this. I handle my business. I figure out a way to get what I need. Then I see the person again. Oh, I spoke to the person. They're going to look for, look for you. No matter how true it is, instantly in my head, oh shit. Because you would respond that. You would, res you would, that, that's how chain of command, that's how the telephone game works. Ray hits me up like, yo, can you, you, um, I know you used to do this. Is there any way that you could hook this up for me? Let me check the response or no response. The next day, yo, I hit up my boy and he's looking into it. Something. Because if you don't know what I'm doing, you're just assuming that you, I ignored you. And who's going to wait on somebody that ignored them? Facts. Meanwhile, now I don't want to give names to that person or situations to that person, but show. He may not always be here, but on my birthday, it was either wake up at two o'clock in the morning and take the train to the Metro North to Newark Airport or rent a car for the day and drive to Newark Airport. Yeah. I wasn't getting on the train at fucking 2 o'clock in the morning because it was going to take... Dude, Uber was like a hundred and something dollars. Yeah. And I'm not talking about to the airport. I'm talking about to the train station. Jesus. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck was going on, but that's what they they. So I was like, nah. I hit up show. I'm like, show. I know you got the hookup for car rentals. You got some kind of discount or some shit. Me and him spent like two hours on the phone, and we found something that was affordable, and I was able to pick it up here and drop it off there. And this relates to the whole dependable shit, where it's like. There are certain people that will offer a friendship to you and not mean it. Oh, yeah. And I, and I don't mean that they're bad people. It's just the same amenities that their, their real friends have, they offer to you because they're nice or they're trying to be nice or, or whatever the, the motivation is, but don't expect it from them because it's not going to happen. You know what I'm saying? And And... <laughs> And it's I've almost always, like circumstantial friends. Yeah, it's not even, yeah. and that's the worst part because I feel like, again, they might not be bad people, and huh. they, at times, might might not even know they're doing this. But they're not even offering you friendship; they're offering you circumstantial friendship, and it's like, oh yeah, I got you. But if this is the case, I don't got you. I got you. But if you need this, I don't got you. Yeah. Or if you expect it's, this, I don't got you. Yeah. Like and, it's like, and, and most of the time when people tell me shit like that, I don't even believe them because it would be like that. No. Yo, if you need a computer, let me know, son. I got you. All right, cool. Yo, bro, I'm, I need a computer. What's good? Don't worry about it, man. I went to Micro Center. I bought one. You know what I'm saying? It's like it, it it happens so many times that it's just like, yo, yo, bro, if you need something, I got you. I don't need nothing. The store got it. <laughs> cause cause at certain times, you know how everybody wanna save a dollar. To me, that two hundred dollars that you're gonna save me, side, so I'll pay it not to deal with the shit. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Cause it's one of those where it's like, nah. I I, I went through that. I went through that this week <laughs> and it was one of those moments that I was like, this is what I get for wanting to fucking ask for a favor. And I'm just like, 
Now I know. <laughs> I'm like, I'm cool. I'm uh I now know what I gotta do next time. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to say certain shit because that person might be watching. So um yeah. Yeah. I get it. It was it was interesting though, because it was one of those that's like, yeah, um shaking my head. But <laughs> Taking my head downtown, walking fast, <laughs> asking for help and not getting bigger day, bigger day, boom. And they fucked me, bigger day, bigger day, boom. And now I'm paying more than I wanted to for a Bluetooth watch. <laughs> so, man. You know what's funny? I was looking at watches. <laughs> I was because um, Best Buy sent me an email and they're like, oh, um, we have this and this option. I'm like, hmm. I do need a new watch. Because I stopped. I, I After my last thing, I took off my Apple Watch because I was like, I might upgrade anyway, so fuck it. But then I never did it, and now I'm like, I kind of want to watch. Because I just like the feeling of having a watch on yeah. sometimes. And it's like, I kind of want to get the digital because I'm like, eh, I don't want to just normal watch. So yeah. I'm going to see. I'll see if I pick something up. Uh, not this weekend because this weekend is fucking packed up. But I'll see it during the week next week if I buy something. Shit, the Apple Watch I have down. I said, "Yo, if that goes, I'm not spending another six hundred dollars on a watch or on an Apple Watch. Yep. I'll probably spend it on a good, like two or three good watches." Yeah, it's like because don't get me wrong, it's convenient to be able to go like this and see my message and all that other shit. Yep. But after a while, I realized I didn't need to spend all that money to get that feature. You know what I'm saying? Like Apple products are the best, but uh, it's okay. I don't need it anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's and that's why I was like, why do I have this again? Because it's like, yeah, I never really use my watch for more than just, oh, okay. And then grab my phone and just, wait, it's like, I could have just looked at my phone and it's like, yeah. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we shall see. We shall see. Again, there's little things that it's like, do we need to spend the money on this? Like, <laughs> Is it worth it? But then it's like, eh, fuck it. So again, it's it's first world problems type shit, you know? First world problems type shit. But you know, you know me, it takes me a while to buy shit. Yeah. But for the right price, I'll buy it. You know what I'm saying? Because, uh, when you come back and you're ready to, to see what I'm about to show you, I've always like. Right, remember the sneakers I told you about? They were they look like the baby blue ones I had. They were black, blue, yeah, white. Yeah. The ones that um ended up getting that bubble on the bottom, right? No, no. Those are the first ones. Yeah. I I still don't trust like if unless it was a Nike store, I don't really trust it. Okay. Because I I hear some of these places that have fake shit. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. But the black and blue ones. Okay. So, I bought the family above all everything okay. from the Roman Reigns shit, which ain't coming until April twenty third. Wait, what? <laughs> yeah, so I was like, "No, when is this shit?" It was like, "Oh, April twenty third is expected delivery day." Wow, how long does it take to make a fucking shirt? Okay, it's like, damn. What if you wanted to wear it for WrestleMania? Yeah. So it, I I got the shirt. I bought the shirt and I said. I don't have anything to rock with this. No. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have all gray Barclays that have a little bit of um, burgundy in them. No. But they squeak, and I'm not, I don't wear them all the time. Gotcha. But they don't really match. Like, I don't have nothing to rock with it. Gotcha. So I said, let me see how much white and red sneakers are. Because gotcha. I got the Weeda Ones, I got the white Weeda One shirt, I got the red Weeda One shirts, I got the Thunder Lip shirt, I got this shit. I was like, I got shit that I could rock with this shit. So I go on Nike.com. I see these bad boys right here. Ooh. $75. Oh, not I bad at them. all. Because they there was a 20% discount plus another discount that was on these shirts. That is not bad at all. And those are pretty. And, Those are pretty. and I was like, yo, what $75? What else what else, what else is on sale? Yeah. So I go to look for those black 
white and blue sneakers in my favorites, and um, it says sold out. I was like, fuck, I should have bought these. But before I put these in my cart, my cart said I had one item. Okay. Oh. Woo. The black, blue, and white sneakers that I've been holding in there for months. <laughs> and I paid $80 for these. Not bad at all. So Not bad I, at all. Sp- I spent about 150 bucks on the two pair of sneakers when... I shit you I shit you not, Ray. These sneakers right these sneakers right here yeah, cost bro. me one twenty five. You know how much they cost now? How much? Eighty eight bucks. Jesus, of course. The all black ones are still one twenty five though. No. I told you the other day I tried to buy sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have told you the fuck off, man. Because I can't I can't do that. I can't order online. Because my luck, because I've done it before. I've ordered a pair. And it's like, okay, this should this should be all right. Nope. Too fucking tight. Motherfucker. I mean, th- that's why when I order online, it's yeah. the same. Like, if you think, it, it's the same pair of sneakers. Oh, no, no. Like, they're yeah. all Jordan 1. I got, I got one, two, three, four Jordan 1s, and now two Dunks. Yeah. Because they're pretty much the same fucking sneaker. And it, it's literally just a different color because now I know those fit me good. Yeah. No, and I'm that's like, the thing. <laughs> I know I know the pair that fits me perfect. Problem is, they stopped making that fucking pair of sneakers. <laughs> so now I got to find something that's like, what's the next one? And then just do the same thing I did with these. Buy every single color wave. That's yeah. like, fuck it. I will make it work. Like, I wear enough Word. black and red that it's like, this fits with that. Like I'll be all right. Word, because I was never a sneakerhead, but I was like, "Oh, these are comfortable." Fuck it, they make a lot of them. Let's let's get them. Yep. Yeah. You know, and my boy was the type. He was like, "Yo, I bought sneakers, and then I bought clothes to match the sneakers." But me is like, I have clothes that I don't wear, so why not get some sneakers that match the clothes so I wear them, so I can actually wear them. Yep. Yeah. You know, because I got the Hogan shirt. I got the fucking... I got a bunch of shit that is like... I would have to wear black sneakers for. And ain't nothing wrong with that. But I I just still got the 90s in me where... The shirt and the sneakers got to match. <laughs> you oh, know yeah. what I'm oh, One of the colors got to match. Always, yeah. It has to, yeah. It has to be some sense of, of matching there. I don't know I don't know why it is. But it's like, you got to have that. Like, it has yeah. to at least be something in there. Word. That's why most of my sneakers have some red in it. Like... I'll make sure there's. I'll have something red, the yeah. hoodie, the fucking shirt, the pants. Like no, not the pants. But like something red will match with this shit. Like, yeah. If, I don't think I've ever worn red pants. Like no. Nah. <laughs> I don't know. Everything, uh, you, it, else, everything it, else can work. Pants, yeah. not so much. Red leather pants. Nah, maybe, maybe for gear one day. If I if I <laughs> if I finally decide to step into the ring, which would not be April twenty sixth. Um, I will wear some some red and, and black pants. Shit, but so going back to black on black on black is my uh quick look. Hey, yo, I feel you, Loki. But going back to the thing, it's like it for the right price, I'll buy it. And then there's there's certain things. It's like you know what? Because you know me, it takes me a while to buy shit. I'll buy it. Yep. Like the these just like these shits I bought. Just off a whim, I was like, I like orange. I needed some orange. Like these shits is dope. I think I wore these twice, but they're sold out now. And seeing them sold out and I got them yeah. makes me go, "Thank God I bought them." Because yeah. I would this, it would have been another thing on the list of regret not buying. You know what I'm saying? So, Like, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to spend my entire paycheck on shit, but certain things is like, all right, I'm happy I bought it. All right, we got one more video. Got you. Let's see. Let's see what what this shit says. So let me make sure that the all right. Loyalty or respect? Loyalty. Cause I can ignore somebody that don't respect me. What am I gaining out of trying to like prove something to you? You don't even fuck with me. It's like, you don't respect me, whatever. 
loyalty is, is like I said once again, motherfucker may be mad at you, but you're gonna stay down. Yeah, I mean that one that one I sent because I don't I don't know if I like that principle when it comes to that. Uh, you don't have to ignore you're gonna ignore somebody that don't respect you? Because my thing is like wanting to have someone that you don't think does it like unblind loyalty. I don't, I don't know if it's cool either. You know, like I don't know if I want someone that might not give a shit, but it's like, oh, they're still loyal. It's like, mm. like having that res- respect to me. If there's no respect there. That's it. That's everything. I hear you, but I, I also feel like. The loyalty comes with respect. Like, yeah. like they they respect you enough to be loyal to. Because um, imagine being loyal to somebody you don't respect. True. It don't it don't add up. Like it, it it's possible, but it don't add up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So to me, it was like yo. These niggas is loyal because they, they respect who I am. You know what I'm saying? Like just like to have a stranger, would I rather them be loyal or respect me? Oh, to a stranger, yeah. To a stranger, yeah. But like, but also that's a that's the wrong question to ask because respect and loyalty don't go hand in hand, right? Even though I just said you have to have respect for somebody to be loyal to them. But, See, but to me, I feel like not be loyal to him. To me, I and, feel like they should be going hand in hand, though. Well, I mean, like a stranger, right? Okay, so when it comes where to that, where, you know. where it's like, because I could sit here and go, "Oh, I'd rather someone be loyal to me than respect me," but it's still on the same thing. You ain't gonna disrespect me. You know what I'm saying? Like you ain't gonna disrespect me, and if you're not loyal, where. I don't see how that's important because, to be honest with you, I feel like that whole you not loyal shit is just a, a another way to, to to cry over spilled milk. Because when were you supposed to live my life for me? Yep. If I have a, if I have an issue and you can't help me, that has nothing to do with loyalty. That has something to do with the fact that life hits you also. You know what I'm saying? No, I life doesn't you. life like I said with the tree shit. It goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's people I haven't spoke to in a minute that I know if they needed me or I needed them, we're there. Loyalty. You know what I'm saying? But people just, for some reason, everyone thinks that they're the star in a movie and everyone else is supporting actors, but they're forgetting the fact that there are multiple movies here and you're a supporting actor in somebody else's movie. And that's what I'm saying. I feel like that you that's in a sense when it comes to that you should have respect. Having respect for others, having that respect and having that you could they could be loyal to you and have your loyalty toward them, but you should have that respect to understand that hey, you also need to somewhat have that role for them and have your yeah. role in their lives. So that's why I was like for when it comes to people that you know, I feel like it should be going hand in hand. Yeah. Respect it's... and loyalty. When it comes to um to randoms, then it's like yeah, it's uh it, it's it's yeah yeah it's it's a little it's a little different there, but that also goes with a lot of things. But to me, um, because you know how I stand, I stand on without respect in anything. It's like you're lost. Yeah, like if the respect is gone, then fuck everything else. Yeah, because because I don't know. Like let's say this, right? Someone disrespects you every time they see you. Yeah. Do you want that loyalty in your life? I don't know. Because if if you don't have the decency of that respect, then it's like, yeah. why 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 would I want you to quote unquote? Yeah, yeah, I got you. It's like, do you? And and if they're not loyal to you, can they respect you? Like I can understand they'd be like, yo, I mean, yo, listen. If it came down to this person or this person, I'm gonna have to go with my boy, but I respect what you do. This, you know, that's different. But if they're not, if they're okay. gonna be on, you know, if they're gonna be on some like, yo, 
Who you talking about? You talking about, yeah, fuck that nigga, blah, blah, blah. But I respect him. Nah, you don't respect me, nigga, because you ain't a loyal enough to be like, nah, he's a good dude. Like, you just went with the flow. You fuck me, right? See, and that's and that's what I was going to say. Like, because the first example, it's like, I think we've all done that once or twice. That's yeah. like, if this is the case, I'm going to have to go with my boy. But I, I respect your hustle. I respect this. Yeah. But it's like if you're doing the 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 ladder and you're doing the other option, it's like nah, you got no respect for the person. Yeah. Like the fuck, what what is wrong with you? Like that, there's a there's a thing, there's a thin line of thinking you have that respect and you're respecting someone, and then just showing how full of shit you are, how disloyal, yeah. and how just again you have no actual care in the world for the person. But we try to use that we try to use that word to say yeah, yeah I got respect for them. It's like do you? Do you understand what the word respect is? This is why every time <laughs> and fun, I'm gonna plug it away because fuck it, why not? This is why I ask people, what does the craft mean to them? Because I want to hear their definition so I can see if they actually respect the craft. Because your and definition of the craft to me tells me everything I need to know. Word. And 90% of the people he talks to does not respect the craft. I don't fuck with you. <laughs> you about to piss off a lot of people, bro. Damn. <laughs> just, I'm bringing on. My name is Show Nuff. Facts. This is Show. Um, the only reason it says toe tags right now is because we got to make sure at least. To the, he was the, the last one to sign in. Facts, he was facts, the last facts. one to sign in. I never changed it. <laughs> oh, man. But nah, again, this is this is stuff we talk about here, folks. Yeah. And again, don't don't um take everything we say to a hundred percent uh seriousness, because yeah, we gotta we gotta give you a little bit of laughs here and give you a little bit of just understanding and our our mindsets and our perspectives when it comes to a lot of these these topics. But yeah. yeah. And uh. The update on the fish. I I, I spoke about it in the beginning of the. Of the podcast, but I went into a deep dive to figure out the difference between men and female, uh, male yeah, yeah, and female you, fish. You told me, and I was like, "Um, so, so, so did, did you have we have we understood if they're pre if that one fish is pregnant or not?" The only thing I can tell you for sure, okay, it does not have dropsies. It does not have an illness. Okay, okay, so that either means they're pregnant. Or they're or fat. Or they're fat, yeah. Yeah. Because, yo, because the thing is, with dropsies, they say that the, the breed's heavy, the gills start expanding, there's red all over because the gills expanding, they get um, duller in color and all that other shit, and I'm like, none of that's happening. Gotcha. But when they're pregnant, they start hiding, they, they, they stop acting as active, they refuse to eat, they... um. They become a little aggressive and all that other shit. This one swims. Like, do you ever see one that just swims back and forth here? Yeah, yeah. That's the one. The blue one. Okay. So that so I came home Monday or something, and I was like, where the fuck is this one at? Like, I, I'm looking everywhere. Now, in the, the rocks here, there's tunnels. Okay. So what I did was I put my hand in the, the tank, and I moved it. And it was in the tunnel, and it... It ran out and it went to the to the tank um, to the top and then it went into that box there and it was laying on the floor. Like, all right, this don't act like a sick fish because it could be sleeping, but there's something going on. It's yeah. got bigger and there's something going on. So this was like it could be pregnant. Got you. Now I didn't know that they could be pregnant for twenty to thirty days. So I put it in the in the. This is a net. Yeah, it's a uh, isolation net. So there's something for it to lay under and. It's still in the water. It's just isolated from everywhere else. So it it doesn't be stressed out by any of the other fish. And okay. if it does give birth, the babies are in there. And then I could take it out and put it with the, the rest of the tank. And then the babies can grow up by themselves. Okay. She will eat I, 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 that, that's what I was about to say. When, if that happens, you do have to separate her from the babies. Yeah. Okay. Because she will eat the babies. Jesus, what kind of shit is it? So... The thing is, when it's, when they're giving birth, they're extremely hungry. Okay. And also, it's a way for them to get rid of the weak. Because um, if the baby can't get away from it, it's gone. It's like a Darwinism or some shit. That is horrible. Yeah. Yo, we thought they were such cuddly and fucking nice creatures. Oh, yeah. 
and they're trying to I'm, kill each other. Yeah, like but that. they don't have oh, emotions. They don't have yeah, they don't have emotions like we do. So they don't really get attached. What to you me. mean, man? We saw how Nemo was fucking. He killed yeah. about <laughs> but um, yeah. So that now I'm I'm on the lookout for that shit. But gotcha. so one of the features. So this is the thing that really got me confused. The females are bigger than the males. I have four guppies in there. I have two that their tails are vibrant and they're they're like white bodied and they're big and two that one that's orange and one that's fully black and they're small. So the small ones are males. Uh, The other way I can see it is that they have an organ that sticks out. That's how they give sperm to the the thing like on the bottom. Okay. So, so the fish is like this. Okay. So this, this is the head. This is where the, the body meets the tail. Okay. Underneath there, in the female, there's like a, a triangle that looks like another fin. And that's where that, or, that I guess, that's where, organ yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, and then the males have one that comes and blocks another thing. That's where, it, for lack of a better term, their penis is. Okay. 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 So, the, the, the orange and the black one, I can see that. No. The other one, it's hard to get a good look at it because. When it swims, all their fin, like all the fins, go down and tightens up, and this one it never stops moving. Okay. In where I can see the side, this one is laying down, so I can't see it. Also, there's a black spot where the body meets the tail, and that gets bigger when they're pregnant. Mm. And what that is is the eyeballs of the babies. Really? Yeah. Okay. So the bigger that gets. And the d- deeper it gets, that means it, it's, it's you know, ready to give birth and shit. Yeah, in the sense it's, the best way I guess to correlate to like human would be like it's starting to crown in a sense. Yeah, okay. yeah. And I can't see that spot because she's laying down all the time. Yeah. Which, and that, that, that net is so dense I can't see through it. Okay. So I'm like, <laughs> but the you only thing I got to go off of is that it's bigger than... <laughs> You know, it's bigger than the other ones. So, and it's like the females will be one to two inches. The the males are one inch. So I'm like, I mean, they they tower over these other ones. So I don't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, I unless I got transvestite fucking fish, this is my estimated guess. Now, the way I see it is that if this fish doesn't give birth, but it gets skinnier, then there was something wrong with it. And I just took it away from the stress and it was able to calm down and fast and, and get through what it needed to get through. So either way, you're helping out the fish right now. Yeah. So that that's a good sign yeah. at least. That's like either it's stressed out or it's stressed out by pregnancy. Yeah. So we I shall kinda, find out in yeah. a matter of 20 days. Yeah, because I kind of want to see how these, because if, if it does give birth, the only options it has is that it's going to be blue and orange or blue and black. So, <laughs> I kind of want to see what comes out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a, it's about to be a nice pairing, no matter what. Yeah, and the the scary shit is that they can conceive twenty to two hundred fry. What the fuck? Yeah. So I mean, if if she's popping them out, then for at least three months, I gotta raise these things. To get them to maturity level, yeah, and then I could probably be like, "Yo, I got guppies for sale. Who wants some fish?" <laughs> yo, because I'm about to say, like, "Yo, you about to have a fucking aquarium in there?" Yeah, because I because I was about. You know what the crazy shit is? Like, I think I could fit those in there too because a lot of the people that breed them, they put them in like a ten, like a ten, fifteen gallon tank, and there's like fifty of them in there. Yeah. Cause you know they these are for, made for like ten ten gallon tanks and this is a forty gallon, but I was like I was about to buy more fish. Now nah, you good now? Yeah, if she gets birth, I'm good now. <laughs> <laughs> but, oh shit! But we shall see. We shall see what happens. Yeah. In the in the upcoming days. Um, yeah, I don't know if you yeah. saw the 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 short I made. No, yeah, I saw it on uh, on TikTok. Yeah. That's which cool. is crazy. That's just cool. I got 400 views, 482 views on it, and all my tips of the day average 200. So I'm sitting there going, maybe I should just start a fish channel. 
<laughs> nah, man, those views have been so weird because look at this. Before we go, because we're gonna start, we're gonna start wrapping this up. Yeah. Um, I po I started doing the clips like you saw, and my the the highlights I do those little videos I've been doing now to promote shows. The last one I did got six hundred and fifty nine views. Nice. Then I start posting these clips, and one of them did two fifteen. Another one did like three thirty four. The one I posted today got 71. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like, there is no algorithm to this shit. Yeah. It's yeah. just like, some days it works, some days it doesn't. What's that? This is the fifth. Oh, that's the one you told me? This is the fifth for Cat Rodriguez. Uh, uh, that just TikTok followed you? That followed me. Jesus. At this point, I'm going to start following, I'm going to follow actual WB accounts just so the bots will follow me. So at least then my numbers oh, will look better. I follow her real. No, no, no. That's what I'm oh. saying. But that's why, you know, that's why they start hitting you up. The minute you follow an actual account, boom, oh. boom, boom, boom. Like that, that happens to me every time. Every time I follow someone that is either associated with WWE or around the WWE, I get hit with a bunch of fucking fake follows. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. Yeah. But yeah. Again, we, we maneuver our way and we. Oh, they did what you said. I told you. I told you. Well, you're welcome, that. WWE. We just wrote the fucking story from yesterday. I, I, I called that shit a mile away. And yeah. we'll talk about that this coming Thursday. Don't forget, guys, we're going to be doing our predictions on Thursday. Um, Monday is going to be the go home show for all. Like we said, we will be in the building because I definitely am not paying. Uh, crazy prices for the Barclays mm, Center. Word. Because, um, yeah, no. I still got to make sure I can afford those Aventura tickets. Um, Tuesday, we are back. I have finally watched the X-Men episodes, so I will have something to talk oh, about. Four episodes. episodes? Three episodes. What do you mean four episodes? You didn't see the fourth one? What fourth one? There's four episodes out there. I thought there was three episodes. Nah, I'm fucking with you. I just want to make sure that you ain't lying to me. I was about to say, what? What fucking fourth episode? I, was, <laughs> I had to think. I was like, yo, did I miss something? <laughs> um, but yes, we'll be talking about that. My whole life, Ray. <laughs> we'll be talking about that on Tuesday. Wednesday, they'll be back with sports. On Thursday, like I said, we'll be live on um, on Wrestling with Knuckleheads. It's going to be a full house as Kenny and DJ will be joining us as we're doing a little bit of collaborative stream. Yep. Gigi will be back. Gigi will be back in the building. And then Friday, we'll be doing the Toe in the Show show because next weekend is WrestleMania. Word. So we definitely will not be doing this then. But um, yeah, on that note, everybody, Toe, take us home. It's your friendly neighborhood knucklehead signing out. Peace, everybody. Doses.